now we're live. And welcome back to everyone to our Star Frontiers Alpha Hawks game. Uh, Mega Dawn, uh, say hello everybody. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Ben. Thank you, Ben, for the hello, everyone. Um, welcome back, everybody. Um, the uh, last uh, at the end of last session, the uh, the budget crew who are uh, supposedly exploring an um, uh, an unexplored planet for the uh, Cassidine Development Corporation uh, and uh, trying to work out who destroyed the Cassidine De Development Corporation's um, small exploration base. Um, they got their backsides kicked um, by uh, the Streel Corporation who have apparently set up a uh, rival mining operation and who apparently destroyed the CDC operation. Um, the crew uh, infiltrated the CDC base uh, while staging an attack um, on the outside of the base with the help of a native primate known as the Lakura. I think it is from memory. Don't tell me I've got that pronunciation wrong again. <laughs> Lokuku, sorry, Lokuku, um, and uh, uh, and while they were successful in uh, killing some of the uh, real security individuals and even some of the officers, uh, were forced to retreat um, um, by, uh, by because they were getting their backsides kicked, uh, they were getting their asses kicked. Um, so they uh, they retreated. Uh, no one actually died, although some people went very close. Um, they retreated back uh, northwards to the Lokuku village, uh, and then spent the next couple of days uh, in surgery, or in repairs, or whatever. And um, it's now five days. It's the morning. Well. Morning's an interesting one because remember the planet Alcazar doesn't actually rotate, uh, and so it's been daylight for the last um, 100 standard hours or five standard days. So it's basically the f morning in inverted commas of the fifth day since the att since you uh, attacked the corporation and retreated. Um, and so, um, yeah, um, the Lakuku have uh, buried their dead, mourned for their dead. Um, you guys have repaired the damage to yourselves and to the explorer. So uh, what would you like to do, gentlemen, ladies? I think we have to go back. I think so. And we can't yep. get off planet without their radio information. That's true. They, they oh. have the only working subspace radio on the planet. Unless it's been destroyed in the last five days. I think that's probably silly, and they wouldn't do that. Because they would need to communicate themselves. Yes, yeah, unless we blew true. it up, but I don't think we did. Yeah. Well, you didn't. You didn't even see it. Yeah. No. Unless somebody else has another idea, we should serve them for a couple of days. I guess we're not really in a time crunch at the moment. Unless they've called for reinforcements. Yeah, but that's twenty, thirty days out, right? Yeah, unless there's something, unless they, for some reason, they've got something closer, which is yeah. highly unlikely. But would it be safe to say that if they had sort of reinforcements in this system, that we would have known about that coming in? I, I don't know what kind of scans um, no. CDC would have done. Okay, but no, I mean, they no, no. they probably would have landed within five days if they were in system. Yeah, not in system. I mean, if, and you would have seen ship... a, you would have seen a shuttle coming down. 
unless it yeah. was cut, cut. I mean, sorry, you would have seen a shuttle coming down if it come down near the, near the three or compound. If it come down anywhere else, who knows where it would have come down? Yeah. There's no right, reason for it not to land near the three or compound. What's the one day travel time from the nearest inhabited? Isn't a single ju isn't a jump like ten days? Um, yeah, it, it, well, um, the smallest jump on record in the the smallest jump on records um, uh, three or four days, but you but but Alcazar was further than that away from its 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 well, depends on which where you where you jump from really, um, but as far as yeah, there's there, there's 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 at least one jump route which CDC knows about, right? And it may be there may be a second jump route which um, Streel worked out, but more likely than not, Streel got the first jump route somehow from CDC. I don't yeah. know how long so. it takes communications to travel. Um, subspace communications is effectively real time. Oh, okay. <coughs> I mean, there is some delay. It's like it's like the old-fashioned. You know, I don't know if anyone's ever done it from you know Australia to England or from Australia to the States or States to England. You know, take you know, you you sit there, talk, 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 wait. 10 maybe 15 seconds get the reply back you know that type of delay but again it depending on how far the, the subspace communications going you know one side of the frontier to the other there's a significant delay it's still real time but it's a significant delay in um, in the conversation yeah planets next door uh, pla uh, star systems next door to each other are effectively no, you know very little delay at all I think it works out one second per light year is what the delay is, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. Uh, I think I agree with Jazz's first two steps, so that should probably be our uh, first port of call. Yeah, how, how are those, um, what are they, how are they reacting to us at this point? Well, um, you're in their village. I mean, you're in their village. They're, they're, I mean, the, the, like like you'd expect, there is a range of emotions from from "Hey, it wasn't your fault" to "Hey, it was your fault." You know, um, the general consensus seems to be, yeah, they, that's you know, that's we are disappointed we had people lost. We are disappointed that w that that we were not successful in our objectives, and we don't really feel like going back. That's that. That would be the average consensus, roughly. Okay. Yeah. But it ra But there's a range. There's a f there's a full range from, from from you know. Look at me sideways, and I'll put a spear in you, right through to you still my bosom buddy, you know, depending right. on the on the individual. So that's how the natives are. Um, you can certainly go and scout the outpost again if you wanted. Okay, so yeah, they're mean, not about to kick us out or anything. No, they're not about. To, if they're going to do that, they would have done that a couple of days ago. Right, that's right. likely. Is our explorer repaired to the point where we feel like we don't have to walk there, or is it jigging? Well, no, you could probably drive there, but you probably want to walk there anyway. It's only a couple of clicks away. It's only a couple of hours walk, and if you walk, there's no no noise, and therefore less chance of being spotted or heard. Um, Listen, by the way, if this if, if my system crashes, no matter what time of day it is, just hold on, I'm coming I'll come back on as quick as I can, okay? Yep. 
I just thought I'd mention now I've had a couple of crashes today already but I think it looks like it's settled down now Windows did an update and you know what this is you know what happens when you do Windows updates it crashes three or four times before it settles down I don't know what Delicious. those Microsoft people oh I don't know what Microsoft do I really don't but it, 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 it's, a, it's a serious pattern but I thought I'd had it all sorted out yesterday anyway um, yeah enough of my personal problems <laughs> so what do you want to do gentlemen so I guess we'll we'll do that then. Is um, just stay at a distance, um, you know, go up to the tree line to the point where we think we can stay out of sight and just see what they've what they've done. Have they reinforced the hole in the wall? Um, what they're uh, are they remanning the towers? Um, you know, what, do they still have guns up and ready? Just okay. try to figure out what their what their status is. Yep, that's okay. And I don't know if it's possible, but I mean, we don't want to climb through that tunnel. But I don't know if, if it's some way, if there's some way to determine if they, if that tunnel is still, um, still, uh, still there, or did they block it off, or anything like that. All right. Well, well, it's hard to block it off because it's the cool. Remember, the it's the cooling pipes from the reactor room run through it, to the to the river. Um, so, yeah, um, difficult to block off. Um, and there's no guarantee that they know that's where you came from. That's how you came in anyway. Okay. So, so, all right. Um, if you do a, 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 so you spend the next day or two. Yes, is that right? Uh, yeah. 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 Um, observing the compound, circling the compound uh, slowly, uh, dodging, um, dodging uh, the work workforce things like that. Um, the workforce is back mining the river. Um, they're about they're about three uh, k down downstream at the moment uh, for most of this most of this current period of time. Um, the towers have not been repaired, but the pla but they are platforms, okay. Uh, and on top of each platform is um, a machine gun, a single machine gun. On its biped, and uh, there's either a human or a Yazirian sitting, um, uh, sitting on the platform, or lying behind the machine gun, as the case may be, on that platform. Uh, but only one on each corner. Okay. Uh, the chain link fence okay. has been repaired. Sorry, gone. Oh, keep going. Okay, sorry. Uh, the chain link fence has been repaired over on the east side, um, and is uh, therefore probably re-electrified. Um, there are almost constantly two guards on top of this building. Uh, they rotate. Um, they rotate. Um, uh, you know, throughout the day, um, but there's at least th there's, there's at least two up there at any one point in time. Right. Are they? And do we feel like they're guarding the gate, or guarding? They the are. Else? They are. Well, be between the lookout, between the four machine gunners, um, and uh, the two and the two on the on that top of that building, the, the six of them seem to be just lookouts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. The hole that you'd blown in the side of the wall down here um, has been semi-patched up. It looks like it's been patched up with with um, um, just metal sheets that they might have had. They might have had in stores. Um, it's certainly not the plas uh, the, the, the 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 high density plastic that you you blew through. Um, so how well they've managed to attach these metal sheets to the plastic and the high density plastic uh, walls they, it could just be resting there um, it could be uh, braced up somehow um, it's it's hard to tell from the from the hundred plus meters that you are out because i'm assuming you're getting no closer okay yep um, there does not appear to be anything done with the the, the tunnel mouth inside the compound nor uh, with the tunnel mouth outside the compound 
um, although there is a motion detector or what you assume is a motion detector on the on the uh, set up near the tunnel mouth near the river which wasn't there before okay okay any idea what the advanced how advanced that motion sensor is how difficult it would be to on placement and well you got a number of options um it's it's it's, it's probably it, it's it's just thinking about it logically. It's probably omnidirectional, as opposed to um, a single direction. Uh, omnidirectional motion sensors aren't as sensitive for their rating as um, a, as directional um, sensors because um, they're, they're yeah they've got more area to cover. Um, but yeah. You 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 could probably sneak. You could probably try stealthing, sneaking up on it, but it, whatever it, whatever rating it would have, would uh, would uh, would operate as a a negative to your to your sneak your sneak roll. The other option is to shoot it. Right. Now, what uh, about um, hollow screens? I don't think we have a stealth. Well, the hollow screen. Night yeah, I mean the hollow screen might work with it. Um, and what about nightfall grenades? Are they blind such a sensor? No, most likely Trigger not. It. Most likely not. Um, well, they'd probably trigger it because you've got to get the grenade in there, and it'd probably detect the grenade on its way in. Um, but a nightfall would not help against um, uh, those those type of sensors because. They detect that they not only detect um, uh, movement in the air, and they've got a, they usually got a visual component, an IR component, but they've also got a tremor <coughs> component. So you can fit, you know, like through the walk through. Depending on how sophisticated they are, you know, the top of the line rating six models have got have got all the bells and whistles, right? The 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 rating threes, which is the the the, the most primitive of the ones, have basically got uh, are basically no better than the motion sensors that we you get these days to turn on exterior lights in your in your home you know the ones yep. so they're the, they're the they'd be the rating threes the rating sixes would have tremor ir uh um yeah they have the works so but if i've learned anything from uh the mission impossible movies and you know they're <laughs> actually gonna be real then we just need to make the tunnel really hot and then move really slow and then it won't detect us yeah, that that actually does work against that actually will work against IR detectors. Um, yeah, but um, this is outside. This is outside, outside the tunnel. And the way to defeat that is you put a thermo you put a thermostat in the room. If the thermostat goes over a certain a certain temperature, set the alarm off. All right. So. Um... Well, one one thing that I was thinking about, um, I don't know if it's a good idea, uh, but. Um, with the with the Explorer that we do have, uh, we still have the heavy laser mounted on it, right? Is that correct? Yes, yeah, it's correct. Um, what what is if we can position it so that we're a bit over two hundred meters away from from the from the outpost, we could potentially try to snipe at the people on the platforms because um, that that. It's like long range. It's like harder for the machine gunners to, to hit the explorer from that range. Um, whereas like and you'd also have, and you'd also have a hundred meters of cover from the trees too. Some okay, we will do some cover as well. Um, now, I think if we were to do that, um, I mean, Jazz can do that. I mean, it, up for discussion. Uh, potentially, Jazz can do that. Um, because he's got a bit of uh, beam weapon skills. Um, and then I don't know if that can serve as a distraction if other people want to go in or... Oh, that would certainly serve as a distraction, certainly. Yeah. Um, or if we don't want to split the party that way, uh, just kind of throwing that out there as a, as a potential idea. Um, one other thing, just to remind everyone, I think everyone is healed up except for Jazz. I think Jazz was the only one who had some uh, failures on the, on the surgery that was done on him. Yeah, that sounds correct to me. Um, 
if I'm just thinking with Jazz, you know, he might be able to take out you know, maybe some few other people from from distance using the heavy laser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like a plan. I mean, it's, it, it, yeah. What do you got? It's your plan, guys, not mine. Yeah, the only thing is that splitting the party last time didn't seem to do a lot of good. Uh, it mostly just got our explorer shot up and vote killed. Um, yeah, but if you hadn't have been outside, the guys that were the twelve guards uh, that were on the roof, plus the machine gunners that you've now killed, um, they would have been inside, wouldn't they? And you know how inside the inside battle went. You know, or we just stay outside and just try to like you know, war of attrition and try to like take them out as much as we can. Then we run out of power um, for the heavy laser. You know, then then we as a single group, you know, go inside and see if we can take the rest of them down. Well, the the other there's two other tactics I can think of. Besides just a stealth strike, one is is a uh, war of attrition, actively sniping them over time. Go up for a couple hours in the morning and shoot a couple guys. Hopefully, kill one or two of them. Come back a couple hours later, just you know, randomly. The other thing to do is to set off their alarms. Till you know, set set off their motion detector off of, on the back. You know, every one to ten hours, or every you know, every thirty minutes or something like that. So they get tired of it. They think maybe it's just animals that have moved into the area. Right, and even if if the Lokuku can help us trap, track, trap some local animals, we can even release one or two of whatever the local animals are in the area. Set off the alarm, they, they react and they, you know, and they come out and check it out and there's nothing there. They go back, they reset their alarm systems, 20 minutes later it goes off again. Do this all day and night for two or three days until they finally deactivate it. And deactivated, and then they, you know, they'll be on high alert for a while, and then they won't be on high alert. Then we can go back in through the tunnel. Of course, they might might put something else on the inside of the tunnel that we're not aware of, but we'd have to watch for that. Yeah, either plan <clears throat> sounds alright to me. Um, don't forget what your objective should be, though. Do you remember? Does everybody remember what the object, you know, what the objective should be? Kill them all. No, not necessarily. Oh, oh. render their operation uh, inoperable. Inoperable. Yeah, and the best way to do that is to blow the is to blow the reactor. Yeah, I'm now, worried whether about the, the, whether the resistance these plant... between us and the reactor. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine. I was just about to say whether the fact is the matter is that you you, ha you, you use these plans as a stepping stone to get rid of the resistance that you that you're facing. That's up to you guys. How much TD nineteen do you have left? I think it's only like you know, one fifty gram charge. Right. Okay. We we pretty much used um, all of it to blow that hole. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. So what do you, so what do you want to do, gentlemen? What would happen to the reactor if we just blew up the tunnel somehow? Uh, well, if they didn't get it repaired in time, um, the uh, it'd overheat and go into shutdown. But then it, w it would be a simple matter then to. Um, get some, uh, leave it shut down, survive on battery and solar power until um, you get some re uh, some um, replacement pipe in. So it, it would only be a temporary sh solution. Oh yeah, yeah, just as a, it would be a pretty huge distraction though. It'd be a very huge distraction, but then, but, but um, I don't think it would 
if you're then think if you think of using it as an extraction and then get in and do something else, I don't think it'd be very successful. Might be. You never know. Because I guess the fact of the matter is that we're pretty outnumbered, uh, even though we did kill a good chunk of them. Uh, yeah, you estimate you estimate there's about twelve or so left, plus the workers who aren't who weren't you know, who were off working on the on the mining. Yeah, that's the other thing. Well, I don't think we want to do that, but that's the other thing is we could guerrilla tactic the miners. So they can't I, work. I, if they can't work, then then they'll probably uh, it, well, it'll probably suck some guard, some guards down. away. Hey, they'll try and well, that's the other thing is I mean, yeah, they're gonna. I mean, uh, even w with any sort of with, it, with any sort of protracted thing that takes several days to do, they're probably going to get sick and tired and send out a hunting party. Yep. Don't think, you know, think about that too. Well, and maybe the Lokoku we can set traps. Possibly. Set up some forest traps before we start annoying them. Try to draw their holes into... H mm -hmm. How many How many folk are in the mining party? Lukuku and otherwise? It's no Lukuku you spotted in the mining party at all. Oh, okay. Uh, there's uh, two, three, sorry, three, maybe three to four bucks, three, four dozen with heavy machinery. <coughs> yeah, okay. You know, dump trucks and and um, uh, um, diggers and you know, ref refine uh, uh, primitive uh, preliminary refining machines, things like that. What kind of uh, military power do they have? There's obviously some they guards. No, there's no guards at all. There's one guy walk. There's one guy with a pistol on his hip. Probably the foreman, the way he's work walking around. But there's no guard guards. There's no one obviously armed. Put it that way. Do those workers oh, look like slaves, or do they no, look employed? They look okay. like they look like employees. But I mean. As I said, the equipment that they're using, um, it's heavy duty, and I mean it. It's probably it's probably in terms of uh, in terms of metal used as armor, even indirectly, uh, they're probably as good as a as a decent APC, armored personnel carrier. Yeah, light arms wouldn't go through that. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, um, it's a heavy laser wood, possibly, but you know. If we can commandeer their vehicles, um, can you we can maybe jury rig them to just ram down unpiloted, like you know, just kind of on point straight, just ram down the electrified fence? Well, that's what you did with chaos. Yeah, that's that's what you did with the um, it's, that's what you did with the Explorer last week, yeah. last session. Now that was more of a rescue mission than anything else. <laughs> Wasn't it, guys? Yep. <laughs> Expert infiltration and exfiltration. <laughs> well, it worked. So, it, we, as we used to say when I was in the reserves, if it's stupid and it works, it ain't stupid. Yeah. And from my point of view, uh, we probably we're probably not sne sneaking in, blowing up the reactor because that door was pretty heavily locked, I believe. If I remember Which correctly, door? there was the door to the reactor. There were two <laughs> very that far. It had, it had, it you didn't actually get that far. You had two uh, guys yeah. who were down that end. No, uh, we got that far because I was drag I was thinking of dragging Cerise into there and checked that door and the door that was locked. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. That door there you're talking about. Yep. Is that the one you? Ch no, you never got that far. You never got, you never got past that door, and you only got to that door on the way out.
because you you got ambushed here, right? You yep. fled into you fled into here, and then you fled out that door there. Babu got the closest, standing on standing at that corner, fighting a couple of guys who come up from who come up from that door. Yeah, all right. Yeah, remember? Uh, fine. <laughs> You don't believe we can watch the stream. We can watch the stream later. <laughs> yeah, we can watch the stream later, and you do that, and you'll see I'm right. Um, so yeah, no, you never got near that door, unfortunately. So do we want to do this slow, or do we want to do this quick? Do we want to do another assault, or do we want to? Um, let me ask this: if if we're gonna do the um, trigger alarm, tire them out um, um, plan. After that, and let's say they've, they've come, to come down onto a lower level of alert, um, is the plan still to just assault them outright or to try and do a stealth thing? Or what, what's the next step after that? I don't know. Okay. Um, so, go so, ahead. So, what I. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, um, no, you keep going with yours. Mine's kind of a new. Okay. Well, I was thinking. Um, you know, even, if we, even if we go stealth, right? I mean, it's still pretty high risk if we don't have an outside distraction. Because there's still quite a few of them. Um, like what we could potentially do is is both, right? Because if we snipe them, if you know, if we're if the, if the dice rolls aren't completely against us, which is very well a possibility. But um, you didn't see last week. <laughs> if if uh, if we snipe them, at least we'll kind of reduce their head count. Um, and then we can still do the alarm thing, or we can even do it at the same time to kind of really wear them out or, or try their patience. Because um, ultimately, I think no matter what approach we take, their numbers are are an issue. We'll take two to one, not including the workers. Yeah. Actually, it's um, a fraction over two to one. It's thirteen. To, it's thirteen to six, as far as you can remember. Work it out. And you know where six of them are. Get an explore anywhere near a couple hundred meters to the. Um, well, if you remember, intake. they've cleared. If you remember, they've cleared the trees back a hundred meters around the compound. Right, okay? right. But it is forest. The where the compound, you know, effectively it's forest. So, you know, from a hundred meters out, it's relatively thick forest. Um, when. The explorer was on the edge of the forest effectively last time. I was giving the explorer a slight a, a, a cover, a light cover bonus. All right. okay. I'm actually thinking. I'm actually wondering whether you can find it, whether you, whether you can find a spot a hundred meters into the forest, two hundred meters back from the compound, where you've got a clear shot at all. Right. No. No. I was thinking on the. Um west side of the compound so that we can get away is what i'm thinking well the west side of the compound you on the west side of the compound you've got the the tailings pile right bet between the compound and the river then you've got the river then you've got the forest right so what i'm thinking is to set off the motion sensor and probably yeah. the first time maybe two or three times do nothing and then the third or fourth time ambush them yeah, that makes sense. You guys want to get the numbers down? Yeah, that sounds all right. Yeah. So the first time we set it off, see what the reaction, how strongly they react. Right? Do they come in and they have another air car, or do they come in and explore, or do they just send two guys out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. And then we do that a second time, and then either the third or the fourth time, we ambush them on the same yeah. way each time then we ambush them and kill them now they're yeah. down a couple guys well then that, that either we run away or we ambush the next group that comes out to check on the first group yeah 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 um the uh don't uh, let, me, let me let me reiterate from east to west you've got the compound the tailings mound the tunnel mouth, the river, and then the forest. Yep. 
So where are you going to hide? We would we would hide across the river. Well, the river's rest. quite wide and quite reasonably far, reasonably swiftly running. You right, have so to swim how, the river how wide is quite it. wide? Well, you'd have meters, to swim the river. Meters? Oh, right. about 20, 20 to 30, depending on, you know. But so you, that's you definitely have to They come out to check, and we've got a 20 or 30 meter barricade. We yeah. ambush them from across the river with heavy weapons and with long range weapons. And maybe we maybe we have a, a crew on one side, but the explorer is definitely on the west side of the river. I don't know if you guys think we can kill two or three guys from across the river. I mean, we got the heavy laser and we got the rocket launcher, right? Yep. Which you're provisioned in, so we should be able to take out two. I, I think we can handle up to. And we know not a dozen are going to come. Yeah. It's a matter of if they come in a vehicle or not. Probably two to four. Well, the, the, it's not far enough away from the compound to, to worry with a vehicle the first time. Yeah. Second time, well, yeah. Let's see what happens. If there's a second time. All right, so is that what you want to do, is it? What do sounds, you guys think? Sounds reasonable. So yeah, we our explorer on the west side of the river in the trees, but on the edge where we hopefully can, can if we can find a place to camouflage it so it's not visible, but that we can fire the heavy laser from it. Mm -hmm. We'll set up the rocket launcher. Mm hmm and everybody will take sniping position spread out outside a grenade, you know. Aid, yeah, yeah. Whatever. We can even get cover. Take time Sounds preparing good. our positions. I mean, if we're doing heavy weapons, we're in groups of two anyway, so. Yeah. But everybody else should be spread out. Um, I think the rocket launcher is a gyro weapon. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and we got yeah, no I... recoilless rifle shells left, so cats out of the heavy weapons fun. I've got level one in gyro weapons. I'm probably what well, that's going to put me at forty-five. Anybody's better, they can. I think Jazz is going to be on the heavy laser. Anybody's better with the rocket launcher. Yeah, I don't know. Is that with the minus 10? Uh, no. My gyro okay. is just 45. Yeah, okay. So it'll be... 35. Uh, what's the... Rocket launcher... Medium range is 71 to 200, so it'll be medium. Well... Yeah. But can we can we take he careful aim with heavy weapons? Yeah, of course you can. You only get one shot though. Oh, well, you only get one shot with a rocket recoilless rocket launcher, anyways. Yeah, I know, but they are the rules. I don't know who wants to load for me and who else has a. I mean, we're probably. Would we say from the from where the sensor is from across the river will be 30 meters or less no it'll be closer to 50 oh, okay yeah Babu will help load you and provide okay. local security provide local security <laughs> I like how you say that alright well if that's the plan um you go set it and put it in place, I suppose. So um, I'll need um, three um, driving rolls uh, to maneuver the um, explorer across the river at an appropriate place out of sight and through the forest. Okay, 
Yeah, you 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 actually you actually do, um, you actually do a little bit of damage to the explorer at the, uh, on that last roll, uh, manoeuvring it in the place through the forest on the edge of the river opposite the um, tunnel e the tunnel entrance or tunnel exit if you prefer, but it's still drivable. Uh, scratch the paint. You'll have to, hey. You scratch oh, a the paint. A little bit more than scratch the paint. Not enough to 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 affect things too badly. And then um, dig some sort of foxhole or emplacement for the rocket launcher and let Jazz yeah, how, how, camouflage how, it. How, how, how far away from the Explorer? Um, 10 metres, 20 metres, 30 metres? 20 metres. 50 metres. 20 metres to left or right as you are facing the compound? Upstream or downstream? Uh, thinking, I'm thinking to the right, which I think is downstream. Yeah, that's correct. All right. So, so Babu and yourself are in the foxhole. Who's manning the heavy laser? Charles will man the heavy laser. Okay. Um, okay. What, what Where are? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are Voke and Cat and Doc? And Doc going to be? Going to be. Uh, Cat was going to volunteer to be uh, Jazz's um, the loader because he needs help switching over the backpacks, right? Uh, if he wants to fire, if he wants to keep firing every round, yes. Yeah. Um, well, what uh, are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm assuming he's not going to drain the pack in one shot. So, yeah. what are you going to do the the, the the alternate times? Uh, I would just have yeah. Cat take a position next to the Explorer, right? And every three rounds, you can go in and switch. Or every four, whatever rate of fire is. How far are away are we are we from our expected targets? 50 metres, give or take. 30 that, metres across the river to... and another 20 or so metres or so. That's um, what I wanted to mention. For the explorer with the heavy laser, if we want to situate it further away, because the heavy laser's got quite a bit of range compared well, there's to the smallers. Yeah, the trouble is, putting it further away makes it harder, makes the shot harder because um, one for range and two because you're firing food through the trees. At w where you've got things at the moment, you've got a pretty well open field of fire anywhere more or less, you know, in, a, in say a 60 degree arc, and yet you're still far, and still, and let you're still back in the trees, so the trees will give you some cover, especially if you camouflage it, which I'm assuming you're about to do. Right. Well, okay. right. But I'm trying to find out where everybody is before, you know, so I know where, I know where Cerise and Babu are, they're about 20 metres to, to the right of the Explorer, and you're in the hatch of the Explorer, and Cat is... Is there anywhere with good cover besides the uh, the foxhole and by the explorer? No, well, unless you want to pick your own foxhole. foxhole on the north side, probably within ten meters or within within running distance, since you'll probably be the driver. Okay, yeah, then like ten meters. Uh, what is it to, to the left? left the upstream. Up. Yeah, left yeah. upstream. Yep. Ten meters okay, to the left fine. of the explorer. I'll dig, dig my own foxhole. All right, and are you there by yourself, or is someone yeah, going to be with you? just by myself. Okay, so I still need to know where Cat and Doc are going to be. Well, uh, Foxwell might be a good spot for Doc. Yeah, the the fuck in with Babu and Cerise, I think he'll be. Uh, okay. Uh, I was thinking the other one, but yeah. Or does oh, he really? just want to be in the Explorer? Well, the Explorer is going to be a target. We're going to be a target, and as you know, if they try to return fire. But that uh, foxhole folk was in for protection as a driver. I'm gonna be shooting, I assume. Who hey, talk? You won't be shooting. Oh, yeah. Voke. I'll be shooting my rifle. I mean, Doc, Doc, if he wants to be totally safe, he could be five meters behind, five meters west of the exp. Ten meters west of the exp. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Um. I just having having both medics in the same spot seems dumb, but that's fine. He'll go there. 
Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I missed that. Where was where is Doc going? Did you say? Back behind the Explorer. Yeah. Oh, back in. Yeah, I was okay. thinking that, but I've been out too long because Jazz is the other one. So. That's okay. All right. So, so, so Doc's about ten meters back, behind a tree somewhere. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Within running distance, so obviously. Yeah. Of everybody. Okay, Cat. Now, where are you? Uh, she may as well go somewhere near Voke. So Voke went down the other end of the stream from the other, from the rockets. Uh, you went upstream, actually. Yeah. Yeah. How 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 far away? Ten meters. Did you go. Ten meters. Um. You'll probably go five meters because she wants to be close to for Jazz to yell out and be able to call her up. Whichever packs, because she's going to be pretty useless with her automatic rifle at that distance. 50 meters? Yeah, it's medium range. Jesus, we can't dude, hit, seriously? We, we can't hit the side of a fucking barn with our skills. And no, that's we, true. We, we, we listen, could, we listen, we listen, <laughs> listen, 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 listen. When I was in the reserves with a 308, uh, an SLR 308 or a 7.62 millimeter, which is what you've got basically in terms of that 50 meters was considered short range 100 meters was considered medium 200 was considered uh long and 300 was considered was considered um was considered uh extreme and we were firing at 200 meters and hitting man shaped targets yeah but this is not reality this is a game which is very <laughs> much against our favor uh, no, we, no, we, we can't hit people hit ten, 10 meters away. Yeah, 150 <laughs> is like very long range or whatever it is. No, 150 is long range. 300 is extreme. Yeah, but we were hitting Man's it. Man's got to know range. his limitations. Yeah, man knows his limitations. You've been in the re you've been in the reserves or the or the national guard or that whatever it is, James. What were you firing at when you were on the range? Uh, I'd say the hit targets out to 300. Yeah, I'll rest my case, my lad. Right, what was it when we went to the range let's, last time? Let's, let's fix stuff. Uh, oh, we were <laughs> fired. Uh, I think it was... Oh, yeah, you wanted to go to the far. We were shooting 300 feet. Yeah. Or, or was it yards? I don't know. Yards. Well, 300 yards is effectively 300 meters. I think it's 292, I think it is. You were doing yeah, body yeah. shots most of the time, and I was doing half head shots. So. Yeah. Says yeah. the guy who used to shoot competitively with a rifle. Yeah. So, as I, so, yeah, as I said, as I said, I, I, I think, I think it, it, uh, you know, Paul Workman blames his tools. I think, I think it's you, Cat. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think it's the gun's fault. Uh, no, I'm stirring. I'm shit stirring. All right. Well, in that case, so you get yourself set up. So I believe you need three camouflage rolls at least, uh, one for each of the two foxholes and one for the um, one for the explorer, whoever's got the camouflage skill. Okay. Um, so we'll do. Uh, let's do explorer first. Okay. Oh, nicely done. Um, and then the foxhole with I think was it Voke and Cat. Sorry, guys. Um, and then the other one with the rocket launcher uh, and screws. Okay. Right. So, as far as you're aware, it looks all good. So, yeah. All right. So, you um, you get yourself set in position. Everything's ready to go. And what? Do you sit back and wait or what? Oh, so we tripped the um, the motion sensor. Why does that keep going like that? I do not know. Um, you tripped the motion sensor. How do you trip the motion sensor? How do you guys want to do that? Want to set off a smoke grenade by it, or somebody go over there and and run in front of it and come back? Can someone just go there, throw a rock towards it, so we don't use up a grenade? I was going to say, if we're trying to make it look like animals are out there, you know, you don't want to have a smoke cloud billowing up. 
Yep. Yep. Uh, to be clear, isn't this over a very wide, swiftly moving river? Yep. It w it would require a swim check to swim the river. Ha! Huh, well, hmm. I have no idea how well I swim. Um. It's a uh, strength check, I think, from memory. Yeah, that would it'll not be, be in the. It'll be in the web page. It'll be in the rules. Yeah, are there? Oh, let's see. From either side it's of the river, are there any elevated things where Jazz would be able to climb up and just glide across the river relatively easily? Uh, only the tailings pile, which is between the tunnel entrance and the uh, compound. And also uh, in sight of at least two machine gunners. <laughs> okay, no Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, yep. Other than that, climb a tree. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, let's look at the swimmer rules. I do know that Rust don't swim well. I don't have a... Uh... You don't have a what? Dralocytes don't swim well either, really, because they don't float. They've got a former air pocket inside themselves which takes about I five minutes so that they can uh, float I swim like a rock yeah you swim like a rock you have negative buoyancy natural negative buoyancy apparently the best swimmer is a human I believe followed by uh, followed well, by uh, userians well the only the, 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 the swim movement table yeah. uh, only penalizes draw sight and zephyr. Everything yeah, else right. swims no, at the same rate. Swims at the same rate. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's a strength check. Swimming. We'll play it that way anyway. Well, I was going to say about Boo, but apparently, you know, Dralocytes are terrible swimmers, so... Um... It's nice how you volunteer somebody else. Well, he's stronger than me. I'm smarter, but he's stronger. So what was that about a Dralocyte making an air pocket? Five minutes? But he probably yeah, couldn't well, then... A Dralocyte, a, a Dralocyte can... It, it takes five minutes for a Dralocyte to grow, a, grow or absorb a limb. Um, and so what Dralocytes do is that they... Form an, uh, they form an air pocket inside themselves, which allows them to, which gives them positive ba b positive buoyancy, and then they can paddle across rivers or pools or whatever. But they don't naturally float, so if they try and swim without the air pocket, they drown. And who? Yeah. Well. I mean, I could do it. I could make myself into an air pocket. I still have limbs, so, but... So it looks like, just looking at the swimming rules, um, if they're getting out of a current, then they have to roll a strength check. So yep. yeah, that's pretty much it. Otherwise, I <laughs> guess it's just your swimming speed. Hmm. Which everyone should have on their character sheet. Yeah, sure. Should but may not. So, guys, what do you want to do? Wow. hole on the ground with water. But Boo and I, you know, we're, we don't swim. We sink. 
everyone sees. How, how far away is the motion sensor, and how big is it? It's about 50 metres away, and it's about the size of two fists. So small, I, uh, tiny, I, tiny. I, I just, I just, I just wonder. It's probably, probably too small. I wondered whether a, a uh, needle or a round would set it off. Uh, a ne a needle around? No, it's too small and too fast. I don't think any gun set it. it off. Oh, if you Not hit, to hit, it, it. hit it, maybe. Well, yeah. If, the you, if you hit it, it probably would. But it, but even but even a bullet wouldn't set wouldn't set it off. It'd be too small, and too fast. Because you know you calibrate these things, it's probably calibrated for the size of a man, maybe a size of a dog up to the size of a large bear. You know, you would because you wouldn't want to set off, you wouldn't want bees setting it off or birds or things like that, or the local equivalent thereof. Yeah, so one of us has to swim across. The question is, who's the best suited to swim across? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Somebody has to be the best out of the five of you. It's sure. basically it who, whomever has uh, a combination of high strength and a high swim speed. Swim per turn is 12 for Babu. I'm a 10. Um, Jazz is per turn 13. Yeah, it looks like Jess has been volunteered so far. Unless Cat puts a hand up. I think it, we. I mean, it, it probably needs to be one of the um, paralysites. Um, we probably only. You probably only have to get to. I assume the the intake is at the edge of the river, so you could swim no, across not, that, with the, the intake, bubble. Hang on, hang on, the intake pipes go into the river, but. The tunnel that the pipes come out of is set back from the river, uh, you know, uh, about 20 metres back from the river edge, which is why it's about a 50 metre, 55 metre, whatever um, uh, um, shot as such. Um, yeah, and the motion sensor is set at the tunnel mouth. I mean, I, I volunteer Babu, but that's up to you, Babu. Or that do you want to like play a game of rock, paper? Best you able to. You're not on one of the heavy weapons. You can swim easiest. You have to do the air bubble, but I think you can keep that's the air bubble minutes. while you're on the other side. It's, it just counts as another limb, that's all. So how many limbs can you have, Babs? Uh, I've got two limbs, so I could have another one. I could have a bubble. I mean, you got two limbs. Well, one leg two and one arms, arm, two legs, so... That's four limbs. <laughs> oh, so in other words, you would start to lose efficiency. No, not necessarily. Depends how many limbs he can have. If he well, if he, he can, can only have, have four limbs. No, but if he, can if he can have five limbs, it's not a problem. If you can have four... If, if you can have, yeah, if you, have, if you only have four limbs and two legs, one arm and one bubble, and make sure so the arm is the dominant arm that he's going to fire with. Yeah. The I think it's your you um, Dex. Sorry, go on. Well, I don't know now. Where does it say what? How many well, I have? It's your dex, What's it's your, your dexterity? It's your Dex divided by five. Your Dex divided by, by ten, ten rounded up. Divided by ten. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I got five then. Well, you got two arms. Two arms, two bubble, legs, and my head. And the head can shrink down while I uh, suck in this air bubble. Sure, if that's what yeah. you want to do. No worries. The other thing I would suggest is whoever goes across, take the hollow screen. Yeah, I have a hollow screen with a camo loop. Yeah. So whoever goes across should probably be to take that as well. And Volk will also change one of his sits limbs to an air bubble, just in case. Okay. Smart move. So uh, to, uh, it takes five minutes to absorb a limb and five minutes to grow a limb. So ten minutes later, everybody's got their limbs grown, I'm assuming. 
Well, not yeah, everybody. Only the give best me, people. Give me the hollow screen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One at a time, no. guys. So, Cat, you were saying? Oh, I was just asking whether Babu only doesn't have a head at the moment. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's I don't he's, think he's, he's got his eyes. Does. Well, spot yeah, normally I don't have a head. Normally I have two legs and four arms and no head. Yeah. Just picture that. I'd rather not. So, are you handing over the... Babu was asking about handing over the hollow screen. Yeah, absolutely. We want to plug it into a belt. So you got a belt pack with you, yep. Babs? Yes, I do, and I'll swap you. that out I'll for right the, uh, right now, the albedo screen. Yeah, okay. I mean, you can Excellent. wear them both. You can only have one turned on. Right. Yeah, you sort of, yeah, but the but there's only one socket for a, for a screen on a belt from memory. You can't have them yep. both plugged in. And it's like minutes to switch them over. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a while. So. And All right. somebody's going to have to hold the... Uh, the uh, helmet, my sonic helmet. Why? I don't have a head to put it on. Oh, of course. <laughs> Sorry. Or just put it in the put it in the um, put it in the uh, explorer. Or. All right. So are you ready to swim across? Yep. Yep. As ready as I'll ever be. Alright, uh, your hollow screen turned on? Yeah. Okay. Give me a strength roll then, check. Uh, give me a strength check then, please. Okay, yes, you make you managed to make it across the river without too much trouble. And are you s yes, approaching the motion detector? Yep. I just run up to it and run away. <laughs> one way I suppose. Actually I think I would run up to it but as soon as I figure out it's triggered I want to just kind of move slowly away from it so as not to make too much disturbance in my area. Yeah yeah okay yes uh, um, the, there's a, a light on the motion detector uh, flickers and you're still backing away but we want them right? to come out and go back, come out again, right? We're, we're, we're trying to spoof them numerous times. I suppose, yep. so, unless you're going to uh, uh, ambush them yeah, straight away. I'll just go to ground and uh, let them not see anything. And, uh, All right, how far away? From, when you say go to ground, how far away from the tunnel mouth are you and, and, in, and in which direction? I think I would just move back away from it, the direction I came. Towards I'm the just river. outside no. of the uh, detection range. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's hard to tell. So. Uh, yeah. You think? You think? You think it's about fifty? So I figure, you know, about uh, probably about twenty yards back. Then I'll ground. Yeah, about fifteen meters. So he's standing on that side of the river. He is. Yeah, for the moment. Uh, Keep in mind that thing's only 80% effective, right? You're not invisible. Right. If they discover you, right, I mean, we can try to cover you from range, but you're pretty much on your own. That's right. He likes to be on his think, own. He I don't think you want to stay on that side of the river. Everybody's going well, sports acts. You said you want no, to do this hasn't. several times where not they come he... out and go back, right? So, several times yeah. over the course of, like, hours, though, is it? An hour or, or two. I, I, yeah. So you come back to the other side, and you know, a couple hours later, you swim back across again. Or how about somebody, 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 somebody else swim across then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, at the moment, but, but, you're, but, a few, but you're at the moment you you're about stay. 15. Hang on, hang on. At the moment, you're about 15 minutes, 15 meters um, from the tunnel entrance, and obviously the motion detector which puts you about five or so metres short of the river. You are in the direct line of fire from the um, 
directly across the river from the uh, um, Explorer. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm only saying this because I worry about Bucko's welfare. But I mean, if, if you think you're good, then, then, then that's fine. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. You're going to stay there, are you? Yeah. Okay. About five minutes after you uh, um, trigger the, uh, the, exp the, th the um, motion sensor, a couple of humans armed sorry, armed with laser rifles and uh, uh, plugged into belt packs uh, and wearing skin suits and it appears albedo screens. Um, come round the edge of the um, tailings mound. Uh, they have their rifles in their hands. They're not slung, but they're not raised in a threatening manner either. Uh, but they could be quickly brought to brought to bear. Um, um, and um, they uh, look around. Um, fail to spot Babu in his hollow screen. Um, uh, walk over to the the tunnel mouth, have a look, have a look, see at the motion sensor, and uh, have a brief conversation, which is uh, muffled. Uh, Babu doesn't quite make out what what was said. He's quite too far away. Um, check check around again. Um, spend a couple of minutes checking things out, and then uh, head back around the end of the tailings to um, a, a edge of the tailing mound, back towards the compound. What would everyone like to do? How many did you say? That's two up here. Two humans. Okay. Two humans. Well, How long do we screens. think it takes to walk there? Oh. Yeah, it, 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 it'd take about five minutes for the ready tr for, for for any people who are ready to to grab their grab their kit and uh, make their way out the main gate and around the around the uh, the compound and to around the tailing. So it'd take about five five ten minutes. Depending on how how quick how on the ball the 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 uh, the guards are. So Jazz has a question for his teammates. Um, so we've seen them come around. They've got albedo screens on. Um, you know the heavy laser. We've let it set at ten. Do we want? You know, do we want? Do we want Jazz to bump up? power because um, it'll take it'll take a bunch of energy just to kind of burn through their albedo screens and take 500 it's going to take but that's 100 SEU burn through a screen roughly I think it's the other weapons that are going to hurt them I wouldn't right use Right, but if you hit them with enough power, they lose their power pack, drain it. Yeah, but it takes a, quite a bit. Basically, it takes a, a power backpack to drain. To drain a power belt pack, right? No, it's the, it's the rocket launcher and the auto rifle and things like that that are going to... Okay. Um, Jazz is going to have in the Explorer. Um, I think we've also got a gyro chip rifle. Yeah, possibly. If you want mine yeah. with the grenade launcher on it. Um, no, it's okay. Um, hold on to that. Jazz will have a gyro chip rifle. Um, so if they if they come wreck around, they have belt beetle screens then to, to just try to use a gyro chip rifle. Um, okay. Jazz is no better with the rocket launcher than than Cerise, I believe. Okay. You have two rocket launchers, though. No, you don't. 
Oh, yes, you do. Oh, yeah, we do. Yep. How many rocks do we have, though? Fifteen. Huh. Do we want to move, like, I don't know, five or so? so how, how long does it take um swap out the weapons on the heavy mount? Oh, that might take a while. It takes a while. And it's also a type of activity that's probably going to get you seen if there's anyone in there, if anyone comes wandering by. So you could um, you could just set up over in Vokes Foxhole with the rocket launcher. The other rocket yeah. launcher and half the rockets. Yeah, if, uh, if Vokes and Cat doesn't mind Chad's also being there. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're all volunteer for reloading duty because you'll need you you'll need someone there if you're gonna fire once per turn. Okay, so so I think what Jazz will do then he'll, he'll camp out in the foxhole with um with Volk and Cat, and okay. if the patrol comes around and it appears that there is not anyone with an albedo screen in the patrol like in future patrols, then Jazz will consider running back to the Explorer to man the heavy laser. Um, but Fair we'll, enough. We'll play it by ear. Pink. Why does it do that? Sorry, I'm just wondering what my computer's doing. It's doing funny things. Whenever the screensaver turns on. No, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, um, there's no communication between between um, Babu and the rest of you because Babu didn't take his com, com with him because he left it behind in his sonic helmet. Oh, <laughs> so how long are you going to lie there for, Babs? You don't have a separate com. You didn't take it with you. Didn't take it with you. You didn't, didn't say you'll take it with you. Oh, and by the way, um, Jazz is going to leave his albedo screen on. Okay. So how long are you going to lay there for, Babu? I uh, figure about two hours. And then what are you going to do? Trigger it again. Okay. And. I think this time when I retreat, I'm going to retreat back to the my left a bit. Your left, which is upstream. Uh, downstream. Yeah, yeah. Just trying okay. to get to a different position than where I was last time, just so it's not repeating. Yep, yep, okay. Well, again, about five minutes later, uh, a little um, um, a human and a Yazirian um, come uh, around the edge of the tailing, uh, the Azerian, the human's carrying a laser rifle and has a belt pack and um, a skin suit and what appears to be an albedo screen. Uh, the Azerian has an automatic rifle with an extended mag, um, a skin suit, and um, what appears to be a gore screen. They uh, have a look see, check out the uh, tunnel and mouth, and the look across the river and don't spot anybody, and look around and check things out in general. And don't spot Babu. Um, and then that's the best uh, part. <laughs> And then head around, head, head back around the tailings and back in towards the compound. What do you guys want to do? Can I tell if the human was one of the ones that came out before? No, all humans look alike to you. <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask that yeah, question. Yeah, that is a problem. Yeah. I, Jazz, you probably looks like it's random as to what they're going to be armed and 
offensive with. Yep. So I would go back to the explorer. Okay. And right, use what you're we'll best with that. Chess will head back to the explorer then. Are you taking the rocket launcher with you, or are you leaving it behind? I think we'll leave it behind, because there's... Would, would, Jazz, would Jazz be able to fire it from the Explorer? Like, if we were to yeah, step out of the Explorer? Yeah, well, you you probably fire it from the top hatch. Just push the... push the um, Just step to the side of the... of the, of the the Yeah, there's, there's, room in the, there's room in the top hatch for two. Always has been. Okay? Um, so just step to the side of the of the of the heavy laser okay so uh cat will be in the foxhole but if okay. we see albedo screens she'll go uh running over to the explorer and be on right. reload duty all right well uh, all right. one last thing i'm one last thing i need to mention about that is if you do that you will draw movement is one of the things that that breaks camouflage or draws the eye and fast movement is better than slow movement for doing that. If we get into uh, combat, you can make a break for it, but... Oh yeah, of course. Other yeah. than that, yeah, just yeah, stay put. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. We gonna, so... We're gonna be obvious when we start shooting anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, eventually, yeah, but I mean, having having been through an ambush exercise as the, as the victims, um, th yeah, it's very hard to tell where the shots are coming from. Even when they're blanks, you you got noise to your left or noise to your right or whatever, but um, but but pinpointing somebody lying prone or in a foxhole or camouflaged or whatever, it's incredibly difficult, especially under an ambush condition, because you never you 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 uh, you're shocked. You know what I mean? Mind you, it's a lot of fun when you're in ambushing somebody else too. <laughs> All right, so so Jazz will be the, in the Explorer. Uh, Okay. okay. So he'll have the rocket launcher there, um, I guess, on the ground of the explorer, or or on the floor. Ready to La on, on, the, on the floor. Yeah, loaded on the ship. And, and he'll also yeah, load, and he'll also have a gyro jet rifle to, on the floor as well to pull, pull out in case it's needed. Okay. Fair enough. So, Babu, how long are you lying there? It's time I'm gonna like two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Okay. I was wondering if you were going to do it exactly two hours. Nope. Okay, and then you're going to get up and annoy you. Going annoy. to approach and then uh -huh. back away, but I'm going to back probably within a few meters of the water's edge in case I need to boogie this time. Okay. All right. Uh, well, um, about this this time it takes about ten minutes before somebody comes out. Um. There are two humans and a Yazirian. Uh, the Yazirian is uh, armed with an, an automatic rifle and a skin suit and um, a gore screen. Uh, the humans are armed with a laser rifle. With each has a laser rifle, um, a belt pack, an albedo screen, and a skin suit. Uh, one of the humans is carrying a small um box as well about the size of the motion detector <laughs> they bought a mechanic yep but they're replacing it all right um the they look around for for a second and the human with the small box sets the small box up, box up right next to the motion detector Does it look like they're gonna? Are they? Are they? T first, are they together? Yeah, they're pretty. They're pretty close together. They do, they do they do spread out slightly as you know as they check things out, but they stay within a couple meters of each other. You know, and then does it look like the guy on, is gonna replace on. the box with the other one? No, no, he puts it. He, he sets it up. Um, sets it up. Um. And uh, and leaves and, and leaves the original one there as well. So you've now got the motion detector and this new box. Let's attack. I'll overcomes. I'll I'll say on three. 
three, okay. two, one. One, fire. Uh, who's, 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 you're, you're just piling. Is anyone aiming for anyone in particular? Um, I'm aiming for the guy at the, with the comm box. Well, what, what were they armed well, with again? I'm sorry. No, the comm box guy, I would suggest just leave him alone because he's the, probably a non combatant. Right, based upon the gear, it sounds like he's wearing. Well, he's got the same gear as the other human. He's just got that box in addition. Oh, okay. Hot screens and lasers for the humans. That's right. And automatic rifles and gore screen for the Azurian. Everybody's got skin suits? Everyone's got skin suits. So, uh, initiatives, ini initiatives, please, gentlemen. Look at Cat. Cat uh, got a 15. Pedro got I a 15. I finally roll an 8, and I'm still the last one. <laughs> <laughs> that that got to <laughs> suck, dude. Uh, Doc, what are you doing? Doc, what are you doing? You go first. Uh... Doc, uh, what, I, previously Doc has role played so that he wouldn't even really accept reloading a weapon, right? That's correct. Uh, he reloaded for me when in order to save the villagers. But yeah. now That's we're not really saving the villagers directly. Exactly. He would probably be okay with reloading to if we were attacking something like a robot. Yeah, I but thought he did that guys. too. Yeah, I'm just I'm mindful that Cerise doesn't have a reloader right now, but I don't think Doc would volunteer. So Doc is probably holding in case okay. somebody gets a bit... gets a boo boo. Yep. That's fair. <laughs> okay, Cat. Uh, are there any that are in burst radius of each other? Oh. Cat would be aiming for a cluster of them if she could. Otherwise, she'd be aiming for one of the ones with that albedo screen. Over the distance you've got there, they're probably all within a burst range if you want to take them all with a burst. So you open up with a burst, eh? Sounds like a good thing to do. Okay. Uh, we're at um, medium range. Yeah, I suppose. Which completely cancels out the burst and means it probably won't hit. Uh, but let's have a go. Does anybody have the range on the rocket launcher? I've got to imagine that. Uh, yeah, give me one second. Um, it's short range. Oh, 50 meters away, right? Uh, yeah, fifty. Unless, yeah, when, what's when's the range? Where when's the range uh, change? Zero, zero to seventy is short range. Yeah, yeah, it's within, it's within, it's within that range. Yep, that misses. Next one. Uh, who's next? Uh, that would be. Uh, Jazz, um, maybe. Uh, 15, 15, 15, jazz. 14, yeah, Jazz, sorry, yeah, just Jazz. Alright, Jazz will fire the heavy laser at the guy carrying the box. Um, and just to, just to confirm, the guy carrying the box has got um, an albedo uh, skin suit, an albedo screen, and a laser rifle, is that right? Correct. Okay. Yep, so fire against uh, him. Uh, oh, there was I someone with in, a gauze screen. Uh, the Azurian. Yeah, the Azurian. So I put in short, short range penalty twice just to reflect the uh, heavy weapon penalty. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. That's all right. I'm just using a laser rifle macro. Very nice. Yeah, uh, fifty-eight was it? Wow. Yep. Uh, twenty-five, twenty-nine. Because of the skin suit. 
uh, Skids, uh, who doesn't protect against lasers. Or... Oh, it's a laser, sorry. I thought it was a, a gyrojet. My fault. Uh, get, that was against what the albedo screen, was it? Albedo screen, that's against it. So I believe it was all go through. Uh, no, it won't. Uh, 58 divided by 5, 10, uh, 11, 12 oh. for ECU. Oh, albedo. Sorry, I, I, I was thinking inertia screen. Sorry, guys. I misunderstood. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's why I kind of said there was a gore screen. Why don't we attack that? Don't worry. No, that was on the previous group. <laughs> that that was mine. No, it was on this group too. The Yazirian's got a gore yeah, screen as well. Yeah, Oh, yep. so there are three guys. Yes. Three guys. Yeah. Yep. I I heard albedo screen, but I was thinking inertia screen, so that's totally yes. my fault. That's okay. Um, who's next? That would be fourteen, twelve, thirteen. Doke. Uh, well, I will, uh, the, the cat, no, cat didn't, uh, successfully hit anybody. I'll just, I'll take another burst. I'll take a uh, burst, just like cat. Oh, a burst, yeah, yeah, okay. I think we're medium range for rifles, right? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, sorry, what type of rifle? Automatic assault. rifle. Automatic, automatic rifle. Assault rifle. 40 is where short finishes. Uh, yeah, 40 is short, so we're in medium. It's here somewhere there. Nope. Mm, nope. Not with the. Yeah, yeah. So now you miss as well. Uh, that would then mean it is. Cerise's go with his rocket launcher. At the human with the box. Yep. No, I need uh, a target. I, I I need a scatter roll, which is a D eight, please. That goes long. Um, what was it? Fifty nine meters. No, that that explode that explodes um, some ten meters behind them and and doesn't hurt anybody. Unfortunately. Uh, and then um, Babu, who's lying prone five meters from the water's edge, or two meters from How the water's edge. How far am I from them? Eighteen meters. No, but and you, I don't know how and far you I do am. not you you don't have your force axe with you. Why not? Because you swam the river. Why wouldn't I have my force axe with me? How are you going to carry it? My hand. How are you going to stop it from falling off you when you're swimming? With my hand. You need your hand to swim with. Yeah, I'll just be staying here then. Okay. <laughs> you can always charge him with a rock. Logic, 60. No, I don't think so. Okay, just thought I'd ask the question. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, in that case, in that case, uh, let's get an issue, let's get a fresh round of initiatives for everybody, please. Cerise, what was that one for? That was the scatter roll. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. I forgot all about that. Duh. Great initiative there, Cat. How come your die is green? That's because they have, like, the keep dice on or whatever it is. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, putting uh, combat modifiers from the hot bar is broken with the thing. Yeah, so right. the green dust doesn't fix. really affect anything. I'll fix that when I get a chance. So Jazz got a 15. Voke, Voke got a 13. That's not bad, Voke. No, 13. Uh, who was next? Uh, Babu got a 4. Way to go, Babu. Um, Cerise got a 12. Way to go, Cerise. Cat uh, got a 6. Uh, and you've got a reload, yeah? You have a reloader? Oh, oh no, he's across the across river. the other side. That's got to uh, suck. 
I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, and our guys are have got initiatives of. Uh, and uh Right. Um, so, um, can you, you got your combat, if you've got your combat tracker open, if you've not, that's fine. Um, the human who was standing, who was, uh, had the um, um, had the box um, uh, drops prone and uh, appears across the river towards where the fire is coming from in an attempt to. Um, spot you guys uh, and is not successful in spotting anyone oh, that sucks uh, Jazz uh, Jazz will this time take aim at the Yuzirian Yuzirian and fire that machine you're firing at the Yuzirian this time ok yep Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> Crap. So does it does um a hundred and uh, does a hundred and twenty eight points of damage. Um, I don't think he's gonna survive that. In fact I'm pretty sure he's not gonna survive that. Okay. Gotta love those I'm pretty scared gotta love, if you did. Gotta love those pretty th those critical hits. So he died. Voke. Well, um, just keep shooting. Another burst fly. Okay, there's only two of them now, so, and one's prone, so um, that makes it even harder to hit. Eh, uh, well, I'm not hitting anyways. Yeah, not hitting anyways. No, you're not. End your turn, so. Therese, reload. Reload. I'm assuming you duck into your duck down into your foxhole when you're reloading. Yeah, you? yeah, absolutely. Yeah, good. <laughs> Thought you might. End Cover, your cover and reload. Yeah. Your uh, the the other human uh, also goes prone and does some spot checks or scan checks if you prefer. Uh, Oh, he, he, yeah, I thought so. Uh, he spots Voke in the foxhole. Voke's Voke and um, Cat in the foxhole. Uh, and, and obviously aims in your direction with his laser rifle. Doc? Uh, no one's hurt yet, so he'll be uh, sitting back. Right, okay. Cat. The waste of bullets continues. The waste of bullets continues. Uh, go. And Babu? Oh, just stay prone as long as they don't see me. Yeah, well, they're not really looking at you now. They're looking for across the river, aren't they? Okay, in that case, guys, um, let me do that. And uh, question on the uh, follow screen. Is that... Uh, does that improve my hide the further away I get from them? Well, it improves your or hide. Or is it just stop. a basic chance? No, 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 no. If you, I mean, if you're further away, it, 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 I mean, there's a, there's a base 20% chance of being seen, right? But then you're adding things like, you know, cover, um, what you're doing, whether if you're moving or not, um, how, far, how distracted the spotters are. Um, yeah, uh, at the moment they're very distracted. <laughs> yeah, what do you think they're doing? and I You're think I'm going to slide into the water slowly. Oh, okay, okay. I do need to give I do need to give you give these guys a check. 
just in case. Okay, no, they they don't spot you, a and so you make it into the into the river. Um, into the, ri the 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 river is flowing quite swiftly, but depending on how how, how, how many rounds you're going to take swimming across, you going to swim at your full speed or half speed or what? I think half speed. Okay, so that's four. Because the current the should take me closer to our position too. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So All right, initially, that'll initially take me right. closer, and I'll try to go just a little bit past it, so I'm not stepping up in between everybody. Yeah, I figured you might. Uh, initially, please, everybody, if I ask, please. So 14 for Cat. There I am, almost perfect now, man. Two ones in a row. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, oh, yeah. I got to tell you, last week in the in the Deadlands game. Um, uh, somebody, one person was rolling four six-sided dice and rolled four ones. Ow. <laughs> uh, which is a critical fail, you never, never believe it. Four six-sided dice and four ones. Who, that was Abner, wasn't it? Oh, that's yeah, right. He, he was making, he, he was making up a, uh, he was making up a brand new handgun that was going to be more powerful. And as far as he's concerned, he's made up his more powerful handgun. What he doesn't know is that, that sooner or later it's going to explode. <laughs> Don't tell him that, Ben or James. <laughs> oh, we already yeah. talked about the uh, the failure rate. Yeah, yeah. But he doesn't know what's going to happen when it fails. Oh yeah, I, I I assume that he knows it's going to be very bad when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Cerise got thirteen. Where are you, Cerise? I can't find. You. Oh, there you are. Thirteen for Cerise. And four for Babu, which is actually probably a good thing, Babs, when you think about it. Fourteen yeah. for Voke. And Jazz got the thirteen. Jazz got a thirteen. And the two humans got Uh, well, is that right? Yes. All right, let's kick this off. Cat, you're up. He has to reload, so that's what should we do in this turn? All right. Vote, you're up. I also have to reload, so uh, good luck shooting us. Because, you know, you just spotted us. Hey, they're over there. And then they duck in their fart hole. Exactly. Uh, Cerise, you're up. All right. Oh, that's a good shot. Oh. Um, you Go mean I need in. a I I I need a D8. I need a I need a, a D8 um um scatter roll, mate, please. Okay, that one goes long and to the right. Uh, let's see if we get to that. No, it goes off without without doing any damage either. I'm afraid. Um. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, a laser shot from human. Uh, flies into the forest in the general the general vicinity of the of the um, uh, explorer, but does absolutely no damage except to a tree. Jazz. All right. So, Jazz will um, the guy with the box. Um, he's prone. Uh, they're both. Are they they're both, both prone? prone. They're both okay. prone. All three of them are yeah. prone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all three of them are, are prone. It's true. It's very true. Oh, One, uh, two, oh. of them are, uh, two of them are prone and firing back. Uh, one of them is prone and not doing anything. Um, all right. So to get the rocket launcher ready, does that take up the entire turn, or will I still be able to fire it on this turn? Uh, you've already got you, uh, you, uh, You've got to duck down and pick it up. So it's a, that's, it, it's a, it'll take the full turn. The turn's only a couple of seconds. Couple of seconds. Okay. So that's, that's what Jeff will do then. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Um, the guy with the box, the guy in the box, um, doesn't do anything. Doc? No one shot yet, so got nothing to do. Mm hmm. Babu? Still swimming rather slowly. Need right, a strength check, roll? Please. Yes, please. Okay, now it's, that's fine. You're okay. You're good. Like so, uh, new round and. Um, New set of initiatives, please, guys. Now, was Cerise firing at the guy with the box? I believe so. Is that true, Cerise? Cerise? Yes, probably can't, can't tell. Yes, can you not hear me? Oh, no, we couldn't until you, you said till just now. I turned my threshold too high. Oh, okay. We can't tell who J who J who Cerise was firing at because he wasn't hitting anything. As far as we know, Cerise was firing at the tailings man. I've hit it too. Better yeah, than some right, of you. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> although the although cat and cat and um uh, Cat and Voke have been quite good at hitting the tailings mound as well. So, um, oh yeah, the guys. Why have my guys shown up? Because I haven't rolled for them yet. That would be why. Okay, okay. Jazz, round three. Four, Correct. Sorry. Jazz will fire the rocket launcher at the guy with the box. Um, okay, so who had the box? Yep, okay. Who had the box? Um, and so the prone modifiers in this roll as well. Mm hmm. Oh. No. Alright, and you need a D8? You need a D8. It goes uh, long and to the right as well. Uh, and it does, it is also. Also, uh, doesn't do any damage to the hu to the uh, two humans. End your turn when you're ready, please. Oh, okay, he spots um, Cerise's bunker and squeezes off a shot towards Cerise. But I'm hiding. Not yet, you're not. You're not, you're not re reloading yet. Oh, but trust me. Um, yeah, it misses as I thought. Vote. All right. Um. Well, round three. Burst fire yet again. Oh. There you go. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> there you go. Alright. And what? That sits these sits, I believe. In the eyeball. You get 66, and you got to divide it by two. Or I'll divide it by two for each one. That's not bad. 20 points each. And well, it's and it's doubled, right? So that's 82. Mm hmm. It's 80. Well, it's uh, 21 41 points each. each. 41 points each, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, 41. Um. So um, he takes. They got skin suits, uh, so it's not 20, that much. But twenty-one skin, and the same for his companion. All right. Oh, yeah, they have. To, do they have to do their knockout roll? Mm-hmm. They do. Uh, 
Okay. Um, right. Okay. Cat. Cat, you're up. All right. Um, she knows that at this point she would know that the everybody's been made, right? So moving isn't really a bad thing. Yeah, probably. Not everybody's been made. Yeah. Well, we don't know where Vavu is. Um, no. No, no <laughs> one does, except for Vavu. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, following along with her plan, she would be uh, making a dash to the Explorer. Okay, Help you can Jazz make a dash reload. To the, yeah, yeah, you can make a dash to the Explorer. Um, I'm assuming Doc's not doing anything. No. No one's been hit yet. Babu. Babu. Another swim roll, please. Uh, you're successful, that's good. And end your turn, and... Now that should get me pretty much to shore, right? No, not yet. You're about halfway. Uh, that was a laser shot at Cat by uh, the human guard. Cerise, you are reloading, am I taking? Yep, reload. Okay. Uh, that's the round. So I'll get everybody to redo their initiatives, please. Wow. Yeah, Babu's getting anxious. Jazz goes first. Yeah, Jazz goes first. Sorry, Babs, you still can't outdo him. No, no, I'll never be the first one to go. Oh, maybe. If you roll. Oh, yeah, it's possible you could go first, but everyone else is going to have to roll absolutely shocking. You have to roll really well. I mean, you're going before Cerise, for example, and Doc. I'd have to roll a one, 8, and Jazz would have to roll a 1. Yeah. Okay, let's kick this off. Jazz. Um, Jazz is going to switch this Jawa Jet Rifle. Because okay. It's just a bit. Might as well not. Okay, well, it's going to take all rounds. It's going to take all rounds. Which it would have so spent reloading a rocket launcher, anyways. So anyway, yeah, that's fine. So, end your turn. Cat, you have reached the um, explorer. Or and you want to? And you want to? Yeah. So, you want to reload this round for him? Uh well. Uh, would she have seen that he has ditched the rocket launcher at this point? Uh, well, the rocket, is right on, the rocket launcher is on the floor. The rocket launcher is you know, being put on the floor, and he's uh, he's standing back up when taking aim with a gyro jet rifle. All right, yeah, she'll reload it. Okay. End your turn then, please. Babu, swimming check, please. Uh, you, again, you're you're okay, uh, and you're out, and you've drifted down out of the um, out of the line of fire of even of even um, Cerise now, so you should be so okay. you should be okay. Cool. End your turn when you're ready. Vogue. Um, one more burst. Okay. Yeah, oh, that's porch. sorry. It's no, that's a waste of bullets. End your turn, please. Doc. Cerise. And I shoot. And you miss. <laughs> wow, you guys are. Uh, I I need the I need the roll, mate. I need the the, the D eight roll. Okay, uh, one, two, three. That co that goes short. Uh, good thing you moved, Babu, because that could have hit could have hit you if you hadn't have. Yeah. Okay. And our guy uh, takes a shot and misses. And the other guy, 
the guy who what didn't have the box doesn't do anything. I'll get everyone to roll an so initiative. I'll get everyone to roll an initiative and I'll be back in two minutes. So the guy with the box has a weapon, but still isn't returning fire. He didn't see anybody. He didn't have a target. Uh oh, <laughs> I, I had to say that, didn't I? Now I'm first. Uh, yeah, look at that. Yep, way to go, bad. <laughs> and I can pull myself dripping out of the river. Yeah. Pull yourself tripping out of the river, um, Halle Berry style in that Bond movie. <laughs> oh, you you really you really got to be careful not to be in front of us, cause how many bullets we've been shooting? No, I've already drifted past uh, Cerise's position, so that should be good. No, not Cerise, Cat Invoke. We're the ones spraying bullets. You guys bullet. are up upstream. Oh, we are. Okay. Then good, cause I'd I'd rather not, you know. hit you. I don't want to pop your air pocket. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a <laughs> nice thing. That's awful. So Matt knows I'm putting together a Fantasy Ground version for Nighthawks, the ship-to-ship the -ship combat board game. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm just initially just making a, basically making the character sheet so it has all the stats for the ships. I don't know if any of you guys have ever played it. No, I don't get too many actual games to play with people face to face. Yeah, well, it's from the 80s. I mean, aside from having the original box set and looking at the rules, I never really played it when I was a kid. Didn't have people uh, who were interested. Yeah. I was fortunate. I had a brother who was into it. Uh, all these games. I still have the original box set though, somewhere. I'm back. We ready to go? Hmm? So, I said, well, I'm back. We, we ready to go? Yeah? Yeah, we're good. No? Yeah, we're here. All right, let's get this going. Let's, let's get this show on the road. Um, okay. Um, you guys can tell, uh, by the way, that the remaining guy across the river is screaming. Not screaming as in, ah, but screaming like, help! Back up, medic! You know. Um... So yeah. Jazz, 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 where are you? Jazz, there you are. Jazz and Cerise and Babu. Babu, where are you? Babu, there you are. See, so, you know you're going before anyone else, Babu. Yeah. Scary, isn't it? Very. 
I just had to mention that, so, you know, prove me wrong. It went and gave me the first. Yeah, see? Don't bitch and moan too much. You, you never know what you wish for. You might just get it. Uh, I like to get some guns that shoot straight so you guys can hit. <laughs> You're up, Babu. One uh, more we'll roll to get out, out of the water? Yeah, one more. Just get out of the water. Well, first, Babs, we got to get you a gun, you okay? Go. No, 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 that's critical <laughs> failure. Okay, you, uh, as you get out of the water, you stumble, slip on a rock, fall, would crack your head if you had one. Um, Which and, I don't now, uh, so there you go. If you don't now. Uh, but you are, st you are stunned. Um, um, you take um, four points of damage from the fall. Um, I it's need you to give me a... Anything to that? Uh, the skin suit will protect you for half. No, the skin suit won't protect you. Not this one. Not this time. It's too low an impact. Um, so you did take all four, all full four points. I need you to give me a current stamina roll up to make sure you don't pass out and float away. <laughs> uh, but. Um, you you managed to short out the hollow screen and, and are completely visible to everybody. But you're prone. Yeah. And you're prone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and out of the line of fire, so... And out of the direct line of fire. Uh, you may uh, end your turn if you wish. Hey, found it! <laughs> I duck and reload. Uh, Jazz fires his rifle at the, uh, no, let's keep firing at the guy with the box. I, you know, let's fire at the guy without the box. The guy without the box. The guy who hasn't right. moved. Right. Okay. The guy, the human without the, without the box. Okay. Who's been firing at you us. You missed. You missed. Yes. Oh, wait. Jazz? I'm checking for the rate of fire. Jazz. Oh, uh, if, you want, if you want extra shot, you can't. You can't careful aim though. I didn't careful aim. Oh, you didn't either. Sorry, no. Yeah, but I didn't apply the medium. But anyway, so it's, it's, it's a minus two. Well, you missed anyway. Yeah. Range. yeah, but here's the other two shots. Well, you also have a scope if you take a single shot. Don't have a scope on this one. Oh. Uh, no and no. Not with the range differential. Cat. With a loaded, with a loaded um, rocket launcher, I believe. Yep. Um, she knows where Cerise's box hole is, and she doesn't know that Babu is out yet. Um, no, you wouldn't have seen it. No, not being in the Explorer. Uh, so, knowing that Jazz doesn't need reloading, uh, she'd probably run over to Cerise and help out Cerise. Okay. All right, so that's what you want to do. Go if you like. Doc. Voke. Uh, I duck down and reload. Okay. End your turn, please. Doc wouldn't have known. He was too far back to know about Babu. Babu's a little bit down the river, right? That's right, he is. And he's yeah. just gotten. He's, he's just taken a laser shot. Delicious. Babu, you're not wearing any. You're not wearing a bad. Are you wearing any sort of albedo suit? Uh, skin suit. Okay, it's not going to help. And you take 34 points of laser damage. Three, four. And that's the only shot that comes across the uh, the, ro the the uh, the river. So, initiatives, please, guys. Can't do much better, can you, Cerise? Not much. Only when I get that eleven on a D ten. Yeah, only when you get that eleven on a D ten. Jazz is not 
that's not crash two crash hot jazz bamboo that's even worse no that's normal true oh god i'm not doing much better myself okay let's have another go at this cerise all right let's try um, again um cat cat comes cat comes jumping into your cat uh, into your foxhole all right and Cerise hey. fires, and Cerise misses. Now Cat uh, can reload. Uh, would you, uh, would you uh, scatter roll for me, please, Cerise? Okay, again, uh, long and in, long into the uh, to the left. Doc. All right, nobody has called out to Doc. No yet. one's called out to Doc yet. Uh, so he will be sitting, sitting tight. Okay. Can you? Uh, I mean, he has no reason to go out. Uh, no, he doesn't know. That's it, right. so. no, you know what? This reminds stuff. me of that scene from Band of Brothers uh, when they're in Bastogne and the there's the medic. Yeah. Uh, and they went out for a patrol and then they got absolutely hammered. And he's yeah. just sitting there, crouched at the tree line, waiting for them to come back as he hears the cries from medic. Yeah, I have seen it. It's good. And your turn, Vogue. Well... I believe you're, you're out of... I believe you're out, uh, your, your rifle's empty again. Oh, no, we just reloaded. Oh, you just reloaded, okay. That was okay. last. Okay. Right. That was last turn, yeah, okay. I'm not going to have enough ammunition to take on the entire friggin' base at this rate. Well, stop, stop using burst fire. <laughs> All right. Well, but then I don't do that Stop much damage. Stop wasting it and hit somebody. Yeah, we'll yeah, just. You get three shots, it. isn't it? You get up to three shots if you want some. Yeah, but then it's just better to do. Well, all right, we'll just do three shots at medium range, which is okay. twenty. You have a scope. None of them hit. You hit with two of them. Oh, well, no, no then you, you have the range modifier. Yeah, you hit with none of them with a the range modifier, which is a shame. Went close. End your turn, please. Jazz? Uh, did Jazz see Babu stumble out, fall over, hit himself, get hit, get shot? Yes, he would have. Uh, Jazz yells out to the doc. Babu needs help. Down, I think down river. That means yeah, down, down river. Yeah, down river. Um, and then Jazz will fire again at the guy with okay. the box. Um, careful in this time, single shot. Uh huh. Oh, and miss. You're getting closer, cat. <laughs> uh, she'll reload uh, the rocket. Cherise's rocket launcher. Okay. End your turn when you're ready, please. Uh, takes another shot at Babu with the laser rifle, but misses. Babu? How far is Cerise from me? Cerise? Oh, she'd he'd be about 20 to 30 meters or up uh, away? I was 10 meters down from the... Yeah, I know where you were. And I can run 30. I don't know how far you can run. How far can you run? It's rough ground. Uh, I can run 30. Well, yeah, but you got, you got to put the rough ground modifier in. Which is what? Uh, or just I get into know. the tree line. How can I, is it can I make it to the tree line? Oh, only about five meters. You can make that no problem at all. And, and can I do much. that while dodging? Yes, you may do that while dodging. And yell for Doc. Yeah. I'll be yelling medic as I run to the tree line, dodging. Okay. All right, no worries. And that's your turn. Actually, no, he wasn't mm -hmm. waiting for them to... They weren't screaming medic when he was waiting. He was waiting for them to get shot at and then scream for medic. That's right. Yeah, I did. 
exactly. Uh, Nishis, please, guys. Round eight. Did it again, Jazz. Doc one seven. Uh, Vokes on twelve. Fog Take five off 12? that initiative. Who's? Uh, Cerise. I'm a six. Yeah, you shouldn't keep those on, mate. No, I was trying to get ahead um, of myself. Yes, that's why you. Mm. Uh, oh, that's a new one. Idea. Short, short range. It's the heavy weapon modifier. There's not one in the modifiers box. In the list. I haven't put one in the list yet. Uh, what did you say? Six for you, was it? Yes. And Cat, where's yours? Eight. There we go. Hang on a sec, guys. Okay, let's go, Jazz. All right, Jazz fires away again. Single shot. Mm -hmm. At the guy with the box. And isn't that like what I rolled last time? And it's what I rolled last time. Anyways. Yeah, missed, no problem. Well, it is a problem, but, you know. Uh, uh, Al got my, uh, um, the guy... Again, has another shot at Vabu. Cover is included. Um, range. No, it, it skims past. It skims past where your head would have been if you'd had one. Aren't you lucky? I am. If lucky. I only had a brain. <laughs> if I only had a brain. <laughs> Oh, there's so many dirty jotes I could make with Dralosite. Yes, but we probably sh you probably shouldn't. Yeah. So, uh, who's next? Vogue, off you go. Have you had a shot yet? No? I was really thinking about that brain joke. Oh, man. I'll take a single shot with my scope and careful aim. Yay. Nice. Finally. Damage, please. One D10. An eight. And end your turn when you're ready. Cat. She just reloaded, so she wouldn't have a rifle in her hand. Um, probably hold until Cerise fires. Okay. And then reload after that. Even okay. though the rockets don't seem to be doing anything, neither does her assault rifle. So That's because you keep missing. Yeah. All I gotta do is hit once. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, end your turn when you're ready. And Doc's, uh, Doc, you know, What's Doc doing? Uh, Doc would be... He has a pretty good idea of where Babu is now. So he'd be running in that direction. Alright, what's your run rate? Right. Checking that... Um, oh. On the character sheet it has zero. But I'm sure that's yeah, in other correct. Words, he had, yeah, no, he hasn't filled it in. Uh, but right. I'd assume that in normal human speed is 30. Because uh, if I no, look at cats... No, 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 it's, no, it's based off ability scores. You're going to have to look it up on in the webpage and work it out and put it on his sheet. Meanwhile, Babu. Well, 
if Doc's running towards Babu and Babu can see him, he'll run towards Doc. Well, you can't see him, but you've got a rough idea which where he is, so you're running that way. Cerise? All right, now I get to shoot again. Mm -hmm. Use my modifiers. There we go. It's 15 or it's 12? 15. For a hit, it's 15, isn't it? Yep. My coilless rifle is 12. There. Ouch. One, two, a couple of tens, a bunch of more nines, eight, sevens. Good damage. All right, half of that is 49. He's already taken that many to his skin suit. So that's now completely gone. Um, uh, and that means he takes that much plus that much. Um... Okay. Um, all right. Uh, can I get initiative rolls over everybody, please? I really want to see Doc. <laughs> well, you're not that hurt, are you? Uh, I'm more than halfway dead. Wow. Not halfway alive. Nah, no, nah, not that far. Most of them. Yeah, you've only taken four points of damage. What are you talking about? No, he took a laser hit. He took a... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I, saw, I forgot about that. Uh, I wish I did. Forget oh, about well. it. Self-hypnotize yourself. You know how good you are at that? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. Everyone's a comedian. Okay. Jazz, you're up. What do you want to do? Uh, same, it, there same does thing. not there does not appear to be any movement from the other side of the river but they're just prone and shooting at us they're just prone and um, well yeah okay. uh, shoot at the same guy it's this time uh, 3d10. So, he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't move. The guy with the box. That's the one I shot. Oh, did you hit him? Yeah. Okay. So then the other guy, did the other guy, did we see the other guy get hit, covered in your blast radius also? Uh, no comment yep. about that. Yes. Yes, he did get covered in the blast radius? Well, the blast radius was big enough to get them both, yes. Okay. So Jazz is like, that was just a test. Looks like he's down. <laughs> Jazz checking. In your turn. Doc, what are you doing? Doc, what was your movement rate? We got it worked out yet? Movement rate's five, which I believe run at five times seven point five, which is thirty-seven and a half. Mm-hmm. And it's rough terrain. Uh, I that means. That it's walking rugged terrain is 0 0.2 mm-hmm that what we're talking about here or what is the well, modifier? Yeah. let's just tell me Four how far three. I can move the <laughs> <laughs> no, 37 and a half I remember it's about point two I remember seven I remember it's all right um now you have not yet reached Babu yet but okay. you're close Babu do I see? Still am I closer to Doc that I can get to him? Uh, yes, if you move towards Doc at your maximum rate, you, you two will meet at the end of this round. Works for me. Okay. And, and you when I get to the end, in fall prone. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Kat, uh, you're up. Uh, she reloaded last time. She'll do the same thing. Wait till... S well, she is foxhole, so she wouldn't have even seen that people are dead yet. No. Uh, so, so, yep, she'd be planning to reload. Okay. It's told Don't. otherwise. I will take the same shot again, and I believe... You did hear Jazz yell. Looks like yeah, they're down. Still what did Jazz yell? Jazz yell. It looks like they're down, so, you know, that shot was just a test. Right, that well, the, the one shot. I hit was down, right? That... Yeah, but Jazz yelled, like, looks like they're both down. Well, Cer uh, Cerise, there's been no movement across from across the river for at least a round. Okay, so I will hold my... I won't shoot. I'll just watch. If I see one of them move, then I'll shoot them. Okay. You just keep fire. We only <laughs> have so many rounds. Well, you have so many uh, rounds. Init initi initiatives, please, people. Um, it does look like there's no movement. Do you guys want to do anything in particular this round, or you, you know? Let's get. Time to pack up okay. and go, guys. Um, we did see that they were yelling at one point. One For of, back one up, of them yeah. Yelling. One of yes. them was yelling, yes. So, I'd suggest, well, I mean, Jazz is going to say that I suspect backup is, is on their way. It took like takes like what five ten minutes for them to arrive. Walking took five minutes. Do we so, want to ambush the next group to come, or do we want to get out of here while the getting's good? I don't. How good either how way? Could, well, we're trying to wear them down, us? right? Yeah. But how long did it take for us to get set up, like to get over here? Oh. Sort of. Oh, a couple of hours with the camouflage so, and the foxhole digging and things like that. So if we were to withdraw, uh, would we just be able to drive back into the forest and just kind of take deep cover and be fairly difficult to find? I, I don't know. disappear That's for the day and track us. There's no way that the explorer is not going to be trackable. No, okay. that's true. So I, well, I say we ambush the next group, and then if we start getting hurt, then we disappear. We got the river enough. between us. They're not going to be able to come at us in too much force. All right. Um, Jazz is going to switch back to the heavy laser and man the heavy laser, waiting for the okay. next reinforcements to arrive. All right. At the end of the round, a, a robot appears around the edge of the mound. What type of robot? A uh, combat robot. Armed with? Armed with a laser rifle and uh, what appears to be a power backpack and uh, an albedo screen. Okay, let's kill it. Okay, <laughs> Give me initiative rolls in, please, guys. Was this our robot? Looks suspiciously like Robbie, yes. Oh, no. I thought our robots were, like, blown up really badly. No, you Poor left Rob. one behind. Poor Rob. Cover. You left You left one behind to cover your, uh, cover your escape. But it was... Oh, okay. We gotta but put Robbie out of his misery. It must have deactivated it before it... Well, back. they did it to the CDC robots, so no doubt. I mean, we we re we undid what they did to Robbie, and now they redid what they did to Rob. After we undid what they did to Rob. Yeah, well, really Robbie well was like yeah, what he said. Arm. Robbie was on its last legs, though, so this yep. may not may not be very strong. I don't have a strong emotional attachment to the robot. Not after I've been, they've been, all my friends have been killed by my friends. Vote, <laughs> vote nearly killed us, killed us over the robot. Drive, drive, drive. My robot. Oh, I, 
Drive, drive, drive. My robot. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Now Robbie's trying to kill us. Dooby 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 doo. That's a lot more dice rolls than I like seeing. Okay. Jess, you've got first action. Uh, Jess will switch back to the gyro jet rifle. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's got an albedo screen, so. Uh, this guy pokes his head up above the head, the top of the uh, mound. And takes a laser pot. Uh, sorry, takes a, um, a a burst pot shot at um, the the um, foxhole. Couldn't remember the, remember the word. At the foxhole uh, containing um, Cat and Cerise. Cat, now you can have a go. All right. Um where uh, she doesn't know when Serena go. Um, things still loaded. She can't fire and reload in the same round, so she'll just be on reload duty. How many rockets do we have left, by the way? Um, How many I have you fired, fired seven. We have fifteen. And I had said that Jazz uh, took five. So I've got three more. And how many have you got uh, left, Jazz? Uh, four. I think Jazz uh, yeah. has fired one. So, Doc, what are you doing? Uh, has he reached Babu yet? Yes, you you, you meet you reached each other you reached each other at the end of round six. No, end of round nine. It's now round eleven. Alright, uh, so he will be doing, he hasn't done it yet, so he'll do it now, uh, he'll be a mid-bank first aid to Babu. Alright, 10 points back first aid, knock off a buy a cord off the, off the list please. Not a problem, and end your turn when you're ready. Cerise? Alright, so, um, I will shoot at Robbie. Okay. He's currently over 50 meters. It's closer to 60 at the moment. Okay. Well, that's still short range, 70. Mm -hmm. well, that's all right. So you missed. Uh, Robbie uh, charges towards yep. uh, towards the river. Do you need a D8? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yes, I do. I need a D8. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. Cerise, D8, please. I thought I did. Yeah, it's on Robbie. Uh, the D8? I don't have a D8 in my screen. Oh, oh I'm yeah, sorry. I yeah, not you, Cat. I need a D8 from... There we go. Um, a bunch of, Yep, no, that... Oh, might be... No, it's clear. I thought it was. That's okay. Uh, Robbie races towards uh, r r r to water at his top speed, uh, uh, firing at you as he comes. Cerise. Uh, and hits you. Do you have an albedo screen? All right. Do you have an albedo screen? No suit. 
suit. Okay, the suit takes 27 Albedo points suit. Of Yeah, the suit takes 27 points of damage. No, it, no, it only Unless takes it 11. <laughs> no. No, 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 I no, 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 no. No, you don't take any. You don't take any. It doesn't work the same as a skin suit. The albedo suit absorbs all the damage, and it's got 100 points. The skin suit absorbs half the damage, and it's only got 50 right. points. Right. Yes, but it's it's injured, so it only has 11 points left. Ah, so it's so It takes destroyed. 11, and I take 16. Yeah, in that case, it's destroyed. Yes. And yes, okay, I didn't realize that was the case, so I apologize. Um, okay. This guy also pokes his head up, atop, uh, up above the, uh, uh, on the top of the um, tailings mound, and he takes a shot at Voke with a laser, oh with a, uh, with a, uh, with a, uh, a burst, and hits you. Anyone else in your foxhole? No, nope, actually, I'm all up. You take all five d10 damage then. Uh, you take 28 points of damage. Uh, skin suit will help. Ow. And finally, he packs himself above the top of the... the uh, uh, oh, do we recognize him? Yes, you do. And he fires at you. What's the what's the rule for jazz to assist? Jazz better bloody assist. I think it adds ten. Um, it'll add, it'll add, yeah, but it'll does add jazz 20, add... Add, Sorry, you got to make a roll, jazz. Yes, a straight a straight surgery roll. So if jazz needs to make a straight surgery roll in order to it to succeed on the assist, should jazz just oh, no, make no, the no. Dome? No, 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 no. We've, we've had try and heal. We've had this discussion before. No, um, if yes. you assisting, if you if you assist, if you assist, it gives him a it gives him a plus twenty percent chance uh, of on his roll. You add twenty percent. And if you, 
And if you fail, it's nothing unless you critically fail. Right. So, so if jazz, see, that doesn't make sense, but so if jazz. No, I know. 60, I that's how we used. To, that's how we used to do assists, and and we right. We had this. We've had this discussion in the past where it doesn't make sense. You you assisting is just you don't you don't have to roll. Just give a straight twenty percent. You just you. I'm assisting. I am assisting, and it'll give a plus twenty percent to Doc's roll. All right, so there's no roll to make for you. You just say, I am assisting, and it'll, it's a straight 20% chance to hit. To No, 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 no. Sorry, I remember. It's been a while since we did this. It has been a while. You, yeah. you, make, you, make, a, you make a major surgery roll at a plus 20% bonus. If you succeed, you give 20% to Doc's roll. If you fail, it doesn't mean anything. If you critically fail, you'll take percentage points off Doc's roll. <laughs> and of course, if you if you critically succeed, then you'll get you'll you'll give more points to Doc. Okay, got it. All right, so then it'll assist uh, with a plus twenty. Uh, mm -hmm. Here is the major. <laughs> no, just you are not this. You are not successful, and Doc is not successful. One uh, by a court and one out of one by a court and one out of aesthetic is is one by a court and one out of aesthetic is used up. You have the option of either doing uh, Doc has the option of doing minor surgery, Jazz has the option of doing major surgery or minor surgery. Um. What do you want to do, Doc? Uh, Cerise is so far down, but if Jazz does major surgery, can uh, Doc assist? Yes. That sounds like the best, because with minor surgery, it'll be 30 points down or something crazy, right? I don't know what his hit points are, but Cerise? Minus 5 out of 50. Is what you want so now. Minor Minor surgery will bring him to positive 15 of success. Yes, that, yeah. that's correct. Boy, do I feel dumb right now. Why do you really feel dumb? dumb? I Why? mucked up the recording slightly. Oh god, what uh, have you done? I don't know, I, it shouldn't be that long, but you'll basically have like maybe 20 minutes of nothing. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm used to technical difficulties. I've even got a technical difficulty slide I've made up. <laughs> I've, I've, I've. <laughs> Your hotkeys. That's what gets me. I've, uh, yeah. I, I identified the solution and I changed, and well, I identified the problem and I came up with a potential solution. And fucked oh, it. Well, well, I, I changed my hotkeys to something less. Something I won't. I'll touch less off. Yeah, probably a good idea. In the meantime, uh, Doc, do you want to give a, a, a major surgery roll? Um, <laughs> now you roll it. Not very good. Doc. Well, you got a, you got a plus low. you got a plus t you got a plus twenty percent. You almost had a plus thirty percent. Um. Okay. Here's just a straight major surgery roll. Mm-hmm. 58% chance total. And nope. <laughs> That's bad. That's a critical fail. Yes, it is. Cerise, I'm sorry to say, you are um, hovering under minus 20. Oh, I lose 15? You lose 20. Oops. Uh oh. Um, these guys can't first aid you. But we oh, can, sorry, they, can we they, still these, do? These, you, you can stabilize him. You can freeze field him. All right. But the only way you're going to help him is if you get him into a sick bay. Would we be able to minor surgery him? Nope. So no, in other no, words, no, no, no. You have critically failed. You have you have almost killed him. And he is now hovering, hovering on on near death. Not at a hundred. You roll a hundred on your major on a surgery roll, you stuff up completely. Yeah. 
Sorry, mate. Do we Can have freeze it, field? Yeah, yeah we've we... got a free. It's, you, How long do they last? Two hundred hours. Ten days. But can we switch the power out on a freeze field? Yes, you can switch the power out in a freeze field if you've got a power pack ready. Yeah. A backpack, basically, the backpack. All right. Once you get him into a once you get him into a hospital or a sick bay or something like that, a proper medical facility, you can have another go at him. But until then. Hopefully, there's a medical bay in the outpost. Well, there logically would be, but you've got to get in there. All right. Um, hey, Doc, let's activate that freeze field. I'll give you an assist with that. Can I assist actually with a freeze field? Yes, you can operate. You can assist with any medical procedure. All right. Here's the assist on a freeze field, which doesn't succeed. No, but the freeze field does. Yeah. Doc gets it by himself. Um, so, um, look, uh, that's effectively taken Cerise out, out. Why don't, Cat, why don't you get Cerise to look after Doc? <laughs> wow. Now, the thing I need to tell you is, if you don't remember, every hour somebody's in a freeze field, they lose one point off their highest stat. Oh, really? <laughs> and if that there's hurts. more than one stat, if there's more than one stat with the, the, the statistic, it's done randomly. Okay. Why would you use a freeze field over just applying statos then? Because the statos only last 20 hours. Yeah, so but we've got a we got a we got a bunch of them. We could find status. No, 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 no. It only lasts only twenty hours. If it, if you're not healed in twenty hours, you are dead. There's nothing else uh, about it. Okay. All right. A freeze field is designed to last for at least two hundred hours, and if you don't keep the power up, you, it, it will last until you've got no stats left. Uh, as long as you keep the power up to it, but it does deteriorate the body and the mind. But that's oh. the price you pay for staying alive indefinitely. It's uh, one point from one ability score for every 10 hours. 10 hours, sorry, 10 hours, not every hour, every 10 hours. My apologies. Sorry to frighten you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> every 10 hours. So two, two points a day, basically. Okay. And for the record, it's an activate freeze field to deactivate it. And you better make sure you've got some, um, yeah, you, you're, you're ready to go into surgery straight away when you do. Because you only, you'll only have minutes, you'll only have 10, 15, 20 minutes or so, half an hour max um, between deactivating a freeze field and, 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 and losing the points and dying. Actually, in your, ca in your case, you're only on, you're on minus 25, right? Yeah. Yeah, you'll have five rounds for him to start the surgery. And in this case, it'll 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 need to be in a medical in a medical facility. <laughs> so, I I do apologise about that, it, 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 that, that, but that's the way the the game runs. Oh yeah, I'm not. Oh well, people get attached to their characters, and when their characters start dying, they get annoyed. Yeah, I'm attached, but. <laughs> That's the way the cookie crumbles. All right, so this happens when you this happens th 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 this all happens that night when you get back to the uh, Lokoku village. What's the general plan? Surgery all around. Yeah, I'm not so sure people are happy about that. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, who's first on the sl who's next on the slab? Yes, that'd be Babu. Okay, Babu. Uh, how many points are you down? Thirty-one. Well, that's a major surgery. Okay. I'll, I'll pull up the uh, assist rolls. Okay. 
Oops, you are not successful in your that. assist. Uh, burst fire? Well, I need something to put in the 20 bonus. Oh, fair enough. Yes, fair You're enough. You're shooting your patient. <laughs> Remember, I'll use now we know why I'm used battle to base. it. Yeah, whatever works. Okay. I've I've Stop. done that in video games where you're the medic, you accidentally pull out your gun instead of your medical supplies and you shoot the guy. Uh oh. Yes, you've done that by accident accident, I'm sure. Well, in a game called Planet Side Two, I carry C four. And uh mm. unfortunately sometimes I drop that and activate it when I'm trying to heal somebody. Yes. Okay. It... Uh you would you like to give me a, a a major surgery with a plus twenty plus twenty mod a, be a plus twenty ben benefit modifier, please, Doc. The the assist failed. Oh, you, too. Sorry, <laughs> st straight major surgery, please. And if you ask me why my combat medic has C four because he's a medic, well, my response is because he's a combat medic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the idea. Let's get back to the game, shall we, Doc? That would be you, Dan. Oh, sorry, I forgot it's me. All yeah, right, medical skill. That's right. Medical skill, major surgery. Now I know you're upset, but you don't have to take your anger out on the rest of us, okay, Dad? Who? <laughs> <laughs> thank God. Wow, that's that's how you do surgery. <laughs> how many points were you down? Um, Thirty-one. Yeah, Thirty. Okay, four bio court and an anesthetic. Knock it off, please, somebody. Who's next on the slab? That's Dallas. I focus. On. I just need a minor. How many are you? You're only a minor. You're only down less. Twenty-one than 20. point. Okay, well that's a minor if you want it. So, do you want to assist on that, Jazz, or you're right? Yep. I will not take any assistance. Assist. Too late. <laughs> you have no you choice. You have no choice. I, you got to do it anyway. I cannot get um. <laughs> somebody. You, Battle rage. You're now using battle rage. You're you're you, you, you're raging in your assistance, are you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I so what was that, the, I cannot get the uh, active character to change. Can't you? No. You can't just click on it. In the no, on clicking the on the character on the upper left. Yeah, it, you have Doc as your act. No, look at my dice and look. At, oh, interesting. You can tell by whoever's uh, name yeah, is well, in bold. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Out of the two of them. Um, yeah, so, uh, yes, Doc manages to minor heal um, Voke. Two bio court and an aesthetic gone, please. Voke, you're on one stamina point, I believe. I, I'm down, one, down stamina one stamina point. There's a yeah, very big difference, man. Yes, I realize that's why I corrected myself. Who's next on the slab? Cat? You you do you want to volunteer? <laughs> Push the button, uh, Cat. Uh, you should hear me. <laughs> oh, I got you uh, now. Yeah. 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 Um, fifteen points down. You're only no, fifteen so points down. Now. You're thirty-five. Twenty-five. Points down. Twenty-five. Twenty-five points. points down. That's a major. Uh, assist. Assistance. Assistance, please, Jazz. Oh, God. Uh, that doesn't assist. That doesn't assist. No. Um, Doc, without, a major without assistance. There you go. So you get all 35, uh, all 25 points back, and that's three, three by a court and another anesthetic. Jazz, are you hurt? Yes. Uh, Jazz is down 29. 29. That's another major. You cannot assist, though. Okay. Yes, you get all 29 back. It's another three bio court and another anesthetic. Well, we know Cerise is in a, in a freeze field. Uh, Babu's been healed. So it's only Doc himself. So I can assist Doc? in self-surgery. You, can, you can't assist in self-surgery, no. So you can either self-surgery, Doc, or you can uh, trust Bab uh, trust Jazz to do it for you. <laughs> you should self-surgery. What's, what's the self-surgery negative? There it's not. It's, a, it's the same. It's just it's, you've got to have a working auto-surgeon, which you do have. You've got two of them. Well, you've got three of them. You've got, you got three of them. You've got three med kits. Um, so it's just a straight roll for yourself. Is that major? 
How far uh, down? How many points? How many points? Uh, Thirty out of. A- any more than twenty is out of any more 45. than tw- twenty is minor. Any more than twenty, you might break a major. So how many points you down? Fifteen. Well, in that case, it's a minor. And you are successful. Two by a court and an and the th- in the thetic. Everybody's on full health except for Voke, I believe, and Sir Reese. <laughs> now you guys were talking about how much inventory he had. I've got when I open up his character sheet, he had a hundred biocord. Yeah, he doesn't track it on the inventory. It's all on the notes on the last page. Oh. That's Yeah, it's unusual, but that's the way he does it. Okay. So, uh, that's basically several hours of surgery. You're exhausted by the end of that, both Doc and Jazz, let alone the combat fatigue that, that, the sets, that sets in. Um, the f- sorry, the, not, I didn't know, kind of, not the combat fatigue, but fatigue from the fighting. It's not quite the same thing. Um, everyone else is pretty much kishniggered as well. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Well, every hour we waste, well, we got, we attack now, well, time is even more of the essence now, uh, but attacking immediately is not the best option. No, well, at the moment, I'd, at the moment, I would, I would impose a minus ten penalty on everyone for fatigue. Yeah, we'll rest, so we're not tired. I have to do repairs to the explorer, mm-hmm. which is a while, which is another decent time after we rest. Yeah, one de- it, it, between one and ten hours. Depending on, you know. So while you repair, uh, we should scout out the outpost again and see what cash well, update. Okay. Boom. It's somebody want to update the rockets? It's, okay, somebody update the rockets. Yes, please. If you're, rock? going to re- if you're going to do a scout of the, flat of the compound again, basically you're going you're gonna to burn through 40, uh, 20 hours a full day between sleeping, fit healing, resting, and everything else. Yeah? Okay. So, and that's fine. I'm just yep. saying that's you know, yeah. Wait, there's four or seven rockets left. Four from uh, Jazz's rocket and three from mine. Oh. Okay. okay. So you're going to take that full day to do the scouting and the repairing and everything else? Yep, I think we have to. All right. Um, who's going scouting? Uh, Jazz will. Let's go. Who else? If anyone. I mean, ideally, isn't it one person with the hollow screen? It could be. I'm just saying. Who's? Yeah. You know, what are you guys doing? So Cerise is frozen. Um, Volk will be repairing. Jazz will scout. Uh, so what is Doc Cat and? Do. Yeah. Uh, Babu's can help scout, but I don't know if I'm going to be very good moving through the woods, what have you, type thing. Well, I think scouting's best done with one person. Yeah. Okay. That's what you're going to do. Uh, I tell you, I tell you what I'd be doing if I was in this group at this point in time. I'd be making an inventory check of all my equipment. Just to confirm how much I've got, because you've got to be running low on power, you've got to be running low on on uh, um, projectile weapons, you've got to be running low on on rockets, you've got to be rely- running low on, on medical supplies. Oh, oh, bullets, please. We got I got like thirty five full equipped. We're fine. Oh wow, have you? Okay. You gave us forty. You gave us forty magazines. Okay. 
Got like 114 rounds. Yeah, it was, you gave us 20 when we started the mission, and then 20 when we got to the CDC compound. I'm like, okay, this is more ammo than I ever need. Well, and then if you look through Cerise's kit, she's got lots of gyro rounds and lots of grenades. In that case, you've got no problem then, have you? No. Okay. Which is good. All right, look, I'll, I'll, I'll keep this relatively flowing. Um, first of all, um, uh, the bad news. Cerise, you need to knock a point off your dexterity and a point off your logic, please, for the 20 hours that you're in the freeze field so far. Uh, you want that as a minus, by the way. Yep. There we go. Um, sorry about that. Um, okay. You, uh, the uh, r uh, repairs take uh, three hours, and so uh, Voke, assuming you're successful with your your repair roll. Yep. Which you are. So three hours later, you've got the. Uh, the Explorer back into working order, not perfect order, working order. Um, and uh, the exploring, um, it appears that there are still two guys on the roof of that building that on the compound that we mentioned earlier, that one. Um, and um, there's a guy on manning one of the machine guns on that tower and on that tower. All right, so their guard is spread really thin now. Yeah, the guard spread pretty thin. So that's what you find out of the next 24 hours, or the next 20 hours or so, 20 standard hours or so. There's still no sign of the Lokuku that they were supposedly taken. So unless they're still inside the compound somewhere that you haven't discovered yet. Hmm. What are we planning to do, people? So... Jazz's suggestion would just appear to be um, pull up to the um, to the tree line and just try to snipe with this heavy laser. Well, actually, as a part of that scouting, I, I guess they'll they'll rotate. They, they'll probably rotate, but um, can also identify what if they have albedo screens. Um, it's too far to tell. Okay. can try shooting them from the tree line further away out of the guys on the roof and or the watchtower yeah thing is if they have the they'll, if I were them I would have albedo screens the, and they have no shortage of them because we've killed so many people with them well, and they've got a power source. Yeah, and they have a generator, and we don't have a generator, so every SEU we spend, that's something we can't get back. Yeah, it's true. Until you get in there and recharge. Yeah, until we kill them all and take over the compound. Which we pretty much need to do if we want Ceres to, like, uh, to To not... To, to become our pilot for our starship, yes, we need we need to get him into the med her her, her. <laughs> um we can't doing the motion sensor thing is not going to work well it could still work but it, they're going to be are going to respond in oh. force. Yeah. As far as the as far as the scouting, um, did also see how they have fortified the um, 
the area of the mount with the motion sensor, that they leave the machine guns there? No. No, as far as you can see. But there are a lot more small boxes in and around the uh, the mouth of that tunnel. <laughs> There's like a dozen small boxes now. Mm-hmm. Something like that. The question is, we... What's our estimate on their number? 12 minus I'm guessing 4. About. About around eight. nine, eight or nine. So no more than ten. Guessing will be less than ten. Now excluding the worker non-combatants. Excluding the workers, yes, yes. Might as well use up the rest of the rocket rounds. Take out guards from a range. We can try that. Um, is there any utility in a t the workers? They they leave the outpost and go to the mining area on a regular schedule, right? Yeah. yeah. Is there any utility in attacking them or trying to capture them or doing anything offensive against? Well, technically, them? technically they're civilians, so um, right. Yeah. Um... I mean, well, the Lukuku are probably at the um, mining site then, no? No, they're not. Because the, the, remember, the 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 the, mi the human miners are using their machines to um, mine the riverbed and the river itself. And you've set, you've scouted out those guys the, those guys plenty of times. There are no Lukuku in those in with the miners. We don't know, at least I don't recall, what the capture of the Koku are from what's being done with the capture of the Koku. Well, the, they were the, they're being worked to death. They were being worked, well, the one or two that escaped, the two or three that escaped and came back and reported said that they were being worked to, they were being worked to death in the, with the miners. But you haven't seen any Lukuku with any of the miners coming from the compound, leaving the compound, or working the riverbed. So... Can, if we scout yeah. the mining area, are there, is it possible that they're being kept captive or the mining area? Well, the mining area keeps Definitely changing every day. I mean, it's oh. moving down the, down the river every day as they as they as they mine. They move several meters down the river. You know. So we don't know what's going on here. So then, the ones that have escaped, um, where were they kept? With the when miners. They with the miners oh, they'll there in the outpost? They'll, 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 kept in, they'll kept in the compound. So, uh... So then the ones that escaped, so you guys were kept in the compound, you were working as slaves to the miners along the riverbed, but how yes. were you being marched back and forth? How did you yes. move from the outpost? Yes, they were, yes they, were, they were marching us back and forth. Okay, but we don't see that anymore. So maybe no. they just murder, murder over all of their slaves. I thought Which you guys were the murder sad. hobos. I thought you guys were the murder hobos. Well, yeah. Well, you ambushed. We a, you ambushed no, you haven't. But yeah, you ambushed a you ambushed a couple of a, a couple of uh, murder hobos, a couple of humans, didn't you? And a year's here in. Well, when did they? So when we before we even attacked the well, actually. It made sense for them to stop sending them to the mining site. To stop marching them to the mining site as soon as they started attacking us with the Humvees in the, you know, as far out. Because they knew we were coming to them. And that would probably be their most vulnerable uh, time is when they're marching the Lukuk. So it made sense that they stopped marching. So mm -hmm. I'm assuming that the the, the Lukuku that escaped escaped probably before uh, we before got into we got that. Involved. 
engage that's in that's certainly an assumption you can make okay whether it's correct assumption or not well you know because I mean why why out was it well the other part the other thing I can think of is they have an underground mining shaft or underground tunnel and you've seen no evidence of that at all yeah so and we and some of us did go in there into the compound so yeah so what do you guys want to do Anyone? Take out from range. Well, I don't think Doc's gonna contribute on how to kill the bad guys. No, but Dan can. <laughs> I I think we pull up on the east side and uh, take out the guards with the rockets from from range beyond range of the machine guns. I mean, we saw them with heavy machine guns. What other weapons did we see them with? That were heavy weapons. Garage, uh, heavy weapons, none. Garajet rifles, assault rifles, yeah. um, laser rifles. So um, if, if we uh, pull up at maximum range, it might not be much more than 100 meters. Um, and, you know, so or maybe pull up on top of the tailings pile. Uh, I don't think you'll get the, you, I don't think you'll get the Explorer that close. Okay. So, I mean, unless someone else... Without being seen. Yeah, I'm thinking our Nets option is more of a somewhat direct assault on the compound, compound instead of just, you know, playing cat and mouse. Yeah, I mean, what we... We don't really have the time to is play cat and mouse anymore, so now we got to take some more direct action. And we've got the heavy laser, we've got the two rocket launchers, we've got a grenade launcher. Only one? I thought you had more than one. I know Cerise has a grenade launcher. I don't know if anybody else does. Jazz does not. I mean, what I'd be inclined to do with Jazz is that, you know, if we try to attack from range, um, so if we sit from maximum range, um, identify, you know, with magnet goggles, if they've got, well, Jazz will try to identify if they've got um, RPG screens or not. If they don't, they'll just try to take them out directly with the heavy laser. And if we get to the point where everyone's got RPG screens, then Jazz is, you know, Jazz can switch to rocket launcher. I'm not sure how, how um, people's skills are with a rocket launcher. Jazz is pretty much equivalent to Ceres. You're probably the best. Jazz is probably the best. Can I take the grenade launcher off of the gyro jet rifle? Off of Ceres' gyro jet rifle and put it on my gun? Yeah, it'll sure. go under any rifle. Yeah. It'll go under any rifle, yeah. Neat. That's why I'm surprised everyone doesn't have one on their rifle. Too heavy. Jazz cannot carry that stuff. That's why Jazz doesn't have oh. any scopes. Oh, okay. Like, wait weight limitations. Well, stop carrying so much weight. <laughs> well, well, he's carrying uh, how much? No weapons. How, how many explosives? Yeah, we'll stop carrying so much explosives. <laughs> They're like the guy with the, the the tank of napalm on his back. The flame, the, 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 the flamethrower. Yeah. yeah. He's just carrying around the backpack and a belt pack. Like that alone. Well, don't carry both. Use one or the other. Well, one's for defense, one's for offense. Yes, but this, that's only because you choose to do it that way. There's no reason why you couldn't plug um, a screen and a weapon into the belt pack or a screen and a weapon and whatever else into the backpack. There's plenty of ports on them. All right, anyways. Yeah, anyways, so... Yeah, but... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think we'll uh, attack one of the guard posts. 
probably yeah the south the southeastern one is probably the best yeah, one too okay. so all right um where we've been going for three almost four hours um that's uh, we're not going to get any. We're not going to get this battle in in time. So I reckon that's a good place to leave it. Is if, if everyone's okay with it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Good. Everyone's okay. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Uh, th thanks for thanks for playing, everybody. Thanks for watching. Those who are watching, if you want to play those um, uh, ending credits, please, Ryan, and I'll I'll talk to everybody afterwards. Yep. Well, that's it for this session. We hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did. We'd like to thank Smiteworks, Sirenscape and Twitch, and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you.